our Patreon at patreon.com slash cups out loud or get some merchandise at puzzle.com slash cups out loud. There's, there's my plugs for the day. And don't forget our YouTube oh, channel there. at youtube.com slash cups out loud. I could do my full spiel, <laughs> but that's long. <laughs> Oh, I didn't type Wednesday's, Wednesday night shenanigans, which were all, uh, it was a Wednesday instead of a, a Drax day. They made it to Waterdeep and they ran into a blue dragonborn. Well, how these things happen. Yeah, he... Uh, was trying to uh, send uh, a boy on an errand for him, um, and uh, then then uh, uh, Arnold asked uh, if he knew a John Conrad, and the the child says, "Yeah, he's my friend." <sighs> Fortunately, it was the end of the session. So, what is this game you you guys have on the Monday? It's a home. It's a homebrew game. Nice. Who's the aiming? Lightning. Uh, Roland, right? Jacob. Why? Well, yeah, he, but the one who was uh, playing. Uh... The one who was it playing is... Jacob in Cubs game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or Jacob in the Out of the Abyss. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah. He, he named both of his characters Jacob between those two. Realize that. Interesting. Um, Choices. Question. Uh, is Criv available? Answer, is Criv available? Yeah. Yeah. Just for a dinner league. Yeah, I have him. I have his character sheet uh, up to date. I'm not sure if you need it. Yeah, uh, as we level up, I'm leveling up Crib too, just in case he pops in. So I don't have to. He's he's doing other things. Yeah. Uh, Just in case. So previously on Bears and Dragons, what happened previously on Bears and Dragons? Well, the new. Tires of Faith um, got together. Well, it's really the old group with just a, a slight change around. Um, there is no barbarian anymore, but it got a warlock. Uh, we met, uh, we all kind of did a little bit of uh, flexing and trying to understand new things about us and all for a bit. And then we had another meeting of the Council of Waterdeep where we were able to. Cleave the dwarf and the elf and kind to um, the requests of the dragons so that the certain um, dragon types will help us out in the coming battle. And we have a, uh, our, um, a meeting with uh, the, the Lord of Dragon uh, of Waterdeep to get access for our dragons. Yes. And we are also given two new quests. Um, There is a senior member of the Cult of the Dragons that is trying to defect. um, And a little bit of a bargaining chip he has is one of the um, Dragon Masks. Uh, Slight caveat, he is trapped in a wizard's tower with other members of the Cult of the Dragons. And then... We uh, were given a missive from the Wizards of Fae that they actually want to join forces with us to stop the Cult of the Dragons. And the Wizards that are helping the cults are really exiles, so they're like trying to be like, oh, we're not like them and all, we're better and stuff. Uh, yeah, more parlay. We'll probably go in more detailed explanation. I kind of just kind of rattle off what those were at the end of the last session, so. Yeah. I assume that's what they're going to be like. It's just like, oh, I 
Yeah. We're not like these people. So, uh, uh, Krebus is uh, going to be taken over as the leader of the Eyes of Io and Tor, uh, which is actually a new faction of the Eyes of Io. Uh, so, those of Iodron will be returning to their realm. Uh, but a few are, are staying behind. Uh, Court, Lifter, and Jordan. Jordan, because Devosa said so, and probably because a certain warlock has kind of seduced him. I got that good dick. Um, however, and I, I believe Sylvia's sticking around to uh, help scout out other agents. Hey, members. Uh, and Kriv is staying barbarian, is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I just, for future reference, I need to make the new list and help develop that. While you are all at the Council of Waterdeep, there is a knock at the door of the eyes of Io. And uh, a certain uh, black and gold dragonborn uh, comes running up to the front door and and opens it. And there's uh, a man there with a, a wagon full of something um, there. And he, he goes, uh, uh, delivery from cherry cheeses for a uh, laden Nyquil Demirev? Oh, yes, that, that's me. That's me. Uh, oh, yes, you are here. This is perfect. The name, uh, you are somehow related to, to Krebus. We kind of miss him. Oh, uh, yes, I'm, 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 I'm his adopted son. Son, oh, really? You seem kind of old for adopted son. It's a long story about it, how it happened. It's, it, it's really, uh, a dad, uh, McCriv, uh, had come across me. I was in, just in a bad condition, and he kind of, like, put me up, and, and it, it, it was a long story. In any case, you brought the cheeses. Hold on. He reaches into to a uh, bag and he pulls out this uh, sack of coins. He says, "Oh my God, this is great." Um, I I, I don't suppose you can help me, or I, it, this is a lot of stuff to unload. Jordan, uh, 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 Jordan, yeah, could you help me with this? Well, I'm coming. And you go, oh, is this what I think it is? Yeah, this is what I told you about. You can't let Pop or Dad, uh, Dad know. We better hurry. We don't want him, we don't want him to catch us. And, and you go out to the cart and you start unloading his egg. Kriv, um, where, where are you during the day while uh, Krebus is in town doing his duty as the leader of the Eyes of Io? Uh, Chris would probably just be going around the, um, manor and taking stock of everything just so he's under, like, I know Quartz and Jorn know what's going on, like, what it is here, but he wants to know exactly what is at the compound. So at any time, he'd be like, I know where that is. Let's go. All right. So, uh, you're kind of browsing around this study and you, uh, uh, Take a glance at the door, and you see uh, Laden in his dragonborn form uh, uh, quickly pass, and you definitely notice this giant cheese wheel he's carrying. Oh, this. I'm going to try to, like, take a peek and see what's going on. Uh, you you see him uh, come around a corner, and then you see Jordan with a couple of uh, sacks of something. Uh, a walk past. Uh, uh, I grab uh, uh, th 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 nothing, 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 and he go goes around the corner. That's suspicious. Don't you see coming around, back around the corner. You see Layden, and he sees you. Uh, uh, Dad. Um, hey, Dad. Uh, George, take care of this. Take care of dad. Take care of Okay. 
hey, dad, can I talk to you for a second? And he, he kind of pushes you into the study and closes the door. I got a question for you. What? What's going on? Oh, nothing. Just just uh, getting supplies. We had a delivery that I ordered. It's it's nothing. Just just, just supplies. Um. Hey, I got a question for you. Um. Is there like a spot where like you and Papa like to go to kind of just like relax and hang out, like good view or something? Like a special, special place that that you, the two of you could be alone. Um, oh shit! I got like. <laughs> It probably would be like a few spots that they would. Gotta think what I need to pull up to look. Yeah, like, did you have some places that may have been either in Waterdeep or just outside of Waterdeep? Or I'm assuming yeah, I'm it would be to... somewhere near, near the city. Yeah. Trying to pull up a map of water deep quick. <laughs> Wasn't expecting this. Nothing like a surprising your, your players uh, uh, to, to come up with something like that. Uh, backstory. Mm -hmm. Of course, my computer has to take, like, of course, I have to have shitty internet right now. Like, yeah, do you have a general idea of where, where it would be, even if it's not like a specific place? Um, it'd probably be just outside the walls. Like, I would think it's, like, a nice, quiet place in the forest. Okay, so you kind of, you kind of describe uh, the area. Uh, probably something that was relatively close to the original Iron Bear, you know, called the Iron Cub. Uh, just north out, outside the city. It's just a a gentle wooded area, maybe a clearing inside there. Yeah. And you described this too. So... Hmm. Okay. Just just curious. That, Anyways, that's an odd, that's a very specific question to be asked. How, how, how are you doing? I mean, the, I know the resurrection can, can be kind of tiring. Yeah, and that that is true. It is. And then he looks down at himself. He's like, "Then there's the new body, and it feels kind of similar, but off at the same time." I mean, it looks good on you. He just kind of like gets all like, "Yo, don't I know it?" Like, uh, mm -hmm. um, but it's an adjustment. But it feels. Almost a little stronger than my old body, but like not barely. But it'll be an adjustment. That's good. Uh, I never really asked. Uh, I really have been devoted to Bahamut. That's you're not offended by that or anything, right? No, Chad. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, despite Papa and his old IO thing. I kept my devotion. He gets all proud. Everyone's faith is their own. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll take back up my oath. Everything is so 
changed a lot and then hearing Bahamut saying he's proud of me, that it threw me for a loop. And all and I mean he he does know that you gave up your oath. Yes. I, I, I but, think I think if he told you that he was proud of you that that maybe you have been redeemed. The oath isn't necessary anymore. New oaths can always uh, might not you can always take up a new oath. Hmm. In any case, whatever your martial art is I I, I think he would you, there would be any any issue with that. Anything? If you need anything, Paladin, you've got me. That is very true. And it's such a fine Paladin you've become. Yeah. Muhammad, you should be proud. I should probably help Jordan with those supplies. Like, you know, rest. Take home everything. We're taking care of everything. And he goes okay. Uh, as he go, comes out, he he almost trips over uh, a, a little girl dragonborn. Says, "Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Lemon." Who comes into the study with a book, and she goes, "Oh, hi, Crab." Hey, Lemon. Just taking taking stock of everything that's on the compound here. Oh, good. Since Don't I'll be worry. spending. This, this I'll be spending more time here. Don't worry, I cataloged every single book that's here. It's fine. They, they said we could keep all the books. They're not they're taking all of that. Well, I figured as much, but I always like to know myself what we have all over, just so in case I need to find something fast. I can. Yeah. I see Layden and Jordan got a big shipment of supplies. I don't know what those are for. As far as I know, we didn't need any supplies, supplies the last I looked. I took stock of everything uh, before the resurrection ritual, and I made sure that we still had supplies for at least a couple of weeks, and we did. And so I kind of don't understand why there's another, uh, why there's another shipment. But yeah. I I have a suspicion, but I'll keep it to myself for now. Well, if anything, my brother hasn't told me anything. Well, he is older than me now. How is that? How is that suddenly with you now? Everything has changed so much. I don't know. It, it kind of feels nice to have a uh, big brother, because I always thought, if anything, um, we were kind of like on the same page, and then Chitant was our like our mischievous like little brother. So it's Loki. <laughs> yeah, basically. Very um, much. But, yeah. So, Chitat seems a little bit different. I mean, not much. He's he's still Chitat, but he, he seems a little bit a bit different. Like, it feels like he has like he he's found his place. Like he he's has matured. Mama. Yeah, he's matured a little. Yeah. So, yeah, I kind of like it. it but... Everyone finds their place eventually. Yeah. But if anything, the strangest thing hasn't caused any mischief. Everything is still in its place exactly where I put it. Because you know what? I'm the one who puts it in all these places. Because everything must be in order. She has has that face that you recognize uh, of her like when she would stare people down in regards to, to books in the library of the uh, secret lair. Oh, I'll bet you, I bet you wouldn't dare touch any of these things while, while you were around. Nah, I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah. But, that's my little brother. Anyways, I should probably do some more stuff. Actually, no, sure what then I should look more around what's, in this con what's around here. Oh, I haven't read that book. She goes over, didn't she? Climbs up a, a little ladder and, and puts one book away and climbs down, comes over. I haven't read this one. It's this tome that's like three or four inches thick. She's like, ah, this should last me a while. 
<laughs> and I'm assuming you exit the room at that point in time. Yeah. Still just meandering around looking. Might go spar a little bit with the dummy just to test out the body. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's kind of like it feels unfamiliar, but it seems to be working pretty much the same thing as your old one. Is it feels unfamiliar. It feels like it feels the same, but not the same at the same time. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Meanwhile, in Waterdeep, uh, Squall, Frederica, Catherick, Zindralov, and Cyrus uh, are just wrapping up uh, the meeting. You see over, you look over to where uh, Krebus had, had sat down with his staff. Very odd that he has a staff. Um, uh, and uh, Leon is standing next to him. He, each of them seem to be in conversation with uh, different individuals. Uh, if this was an MMO, each of the individuals would have question markers above their heads. Walk up to Leon. Um, Leon is speaking to... Is speaking to um, Leosin. No. Ah, oh, excellent. You're, you're here. I, I have some information for you. Uh, he looks around and says, uh, come with me to, to a little meeting room. This is kind of a more sensitive matter. He uh, leads you off to a meeting room. All of us, or just Squall? Uh, anybody yeah. who uh, follows Squall as he, he as he headed over to your patrons. I would not have. <laughs> Cinder lot probably followed. Um, Cyrus probably. Yeah, I don't know if Cyrus would necessarily follow. Cyrus is currently talking to uh, L'Oreal Silverhand. Uh, if you listen into his conversation, they seem to be talking weird wizard stuff. Makes sense. Puerto Rico, do you follow? Do you go into this secret meeting? Yeah. All right. He says, the council was recently approached by a, uh, a lady known as Ni Ilnich. N-Y-H. I L M I C H H. But I say Lee Ilmish. Ilmish. Um. He he. Um. Uh, when you enter into the room that he's leading to, he had, he mentions who it is as he opens the door, and you see inside in crimson red robes. A bald head with tattoos. Uh, familiar to some people that you killed at some other place uh, a long time ago, except Squall wouldn't recognize this person. I don't know if Squall would even have, have seen a Red, red Wizard of Thay day before. Ether probably wouldn't either. Catherick isn't there. Catherick's not there, so oh, yeah. he definitely did not see the Red Wizard of Thay. So he says, uh, I would, I've been asked to provide you an invitation to meet with my governor, uh, Sarah, the Sarah, 
Sir Archeon, uh, Esthrelda, yes. That's a mouthful. Well, it is a Wizards of the Coast name, so of course it's going to be so easy to pronounce. Uh, let me actually put the title in there. That's the title. We would like to discuss uh, your, the current crisis involving the Cult of the Dragon. Would you be willing to parlay? And if anyone is willing to help us out, we would, we're willing to listen. Uh, Leo turns to you and says, um, in kind of like leans in close and says, we did have some of our people uh, question her under a zone of truth, and uh, she has been quite truthful. So. If the Red Wizards would help us at least with this crisis, it may be a boon to us. I would request that you parlay with them. What's Squall know about, uh, know about the Zone of Truth? Like, the spell itself? Thanks. Roll I'm gonna say it. yes. Yeah. Um, it's so common enough, would, uh, especially, like, in police practices and, and such, um, uh, th that it, it's a common enough spell that uh, people would be aware of it, even if they don't know how to cast it, they would just know of it. But would like would he be aware of the fact that if a person failed it, the caster would know. Like if they say because it's like if they saved against it, they they would be resistant. But the caster would know that they resisted the spell. Yeah. So they they would say you would probably you would know what the spell does and the fact that that hey look if you're under zone of truth. I mean you can resist it, but whoever casts it's gonna know. So, it's it's relatively common knowledge, even if it's not necessarily seen. Um, it, there could have been things in any traveling troops you might have, like, run across a situation where you didn't do anything, and no one's accused you of anything, but you're a witness to something. Might yeah. have, uh, something might have hap happened. They maybe they either put you or uh, another eyewitness under a zone of truth, and they would have rather lost his oh, whole okay. feel of how it works. So, okay. Roger that. It, it's always uh, turns out the other thing and first be like, "Oh, hello, my name is Squall," because he's never met Leo. Ah, oh, yes. Um, a new member. I, I am so sorry. I, I never actually introduced yourself. <laughs> so you're, you're a new member of the group. Just do we hear with everybody else? Leon. Uh, uh, Meeting and everything. Yeah. Yes. So, current situations. Uh, uh, Nee says, uh, says uh, you're welcome to prepare yourself, and when you are ready, I will teleport you uh, directly to Ness. To, oh, uh, okay, well. Uh, to Ness Watch Keep. Uh, I'll, um, realize not everyone is there. I would, um, go back, like, go to where they are and tell them that, like, hey, we need to go this way. We gotta Go be diplomat to Keithrick and uh, whoever's not in the room with us. Oh, sorry. Yeah, as, you, as you as as you go up to to uh, uh, Kethrick and uh, it sounds like Frederica didn't follow. Um, yeah, you, you you go mention and you notice and Cyrus. That, in Cyrus, and you also notice this other quest marker. <laughs> what other quest marker? Jesus, uh, talking to Cre um, yeah, someone talking to Crevis. 
<laughs> God damn it. God. Talk to Krebus as well. Well, it's two quests that we got at the end of last session, so it's nothing like more than what we already have. This is this is the flavor text of uh, oh, okay of the quest that you got last time. Uh, Mister Drunky. So, uh, Krebus, uh is uh, speaking to um, uh, Ryan Night Nightshade, the Tiefling uh, man that uh, said that he was a special advisor to Lord Never Ember. Yeah. Uh, and as uh, you all approach, he says, "Oh, huh. I have a, uh, I have a message for you, group." He hands you over his the paper. Uh, read the paper. And you read this. Uh, you don't know me, but you can, we can we can help each other uh, immeasurably. My name is Iskander, and we have a terrible. I made a terrible mistake in joining the cult of the dragon. The cult's horrifying plans are sure to bring doom to all. But I can stop these plans with your help. Rescue me from the cult's clutches, and I will deliver deliver to you the prize, prize of prizes, the Blue Dragon Mask. Without it, Severin's faces an insurmountable setback in the effort to call Tiamat back to the world. The mask is here in Zunthal's Tower, being studied and guarded by only a handful of wizards, including myself. The danger of my treason becoming no, known grows with every passing day, and if I am discovered... I'll surely be killed. Please hurry, for the sake of everyone and everything you value. Hey, so we want Kenobi. You're my final hug. Yeah, and the the chief leading after handing you the message says, uh, "Nice to meet you, Mister Dimitrov. Not 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 called Dimitrov, actually. It's married. Oh, uh, I apologize." You have a good day. And he walks away. Kethrick, you would have spotted something that would be human, would probably be hidden to um, uh, some people. But there's a, an interesting little, um, or he actually seemed to sign something in Thieves' Cant. Oh yeah, you're a rogue now. And for some reason, you're you're looking at this this kind of like uh, sign language, and he seems to be signaling something, saying saying um, um, tell our friends in the Centaurum that the message has been delivered. Is he like? Signing this to us, or he seems to, to be signing signing in a different direction. To most people's oh. eyes, it would seem just like regular hand gestures. I guess Shatan sees it too. Yeah, Shatan would would uh, have seen it too, and uh, uh, Shatan then uh, actually Shatan wouldn't be there. Okay, no stress. They, because he hasn't gotten permission yet to enter the city. <laughs> yes, you're right about that. So, in case or case, if you glance in the direction that he's signing, you see uh, somebody in the shadow, um, in shadows uh, off to the side, nod their head, and quickly dart off. Um, this looks suspicious. Uh, um, who who is this person giving that uh he's a tiefling known as Ryan Nightshade and he's been introduced to you as being a special advisor to Lord Never Ember. Uh who 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 does who's our muscle in this group? 
Uh, it'd be Federica now. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> what is it? I would be scared of Frederica. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it. <laughs> Squall. I, I'm going to poke Squall, blue person. Um, uh, what? What? I don't trust these people. Uh, this person. Uh, he has a friend that he just talked, signaled to. Um, yeah. Can you point point out the person? Oh yeah, uh, like who we talked to. The person is no longer there. He's gone. But the person that we just spoke to, he knows who it was. What did he say to that person? Do you the know? Person, the person looked like a female gnome. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hold on. Um, is the person is the tiefling still here? Uh, he wandered off and seems to be in t- discussions with Lord Number Ember and uh, uh, King Maldark. This is for me. Okay, cool. Um, I'm I'm gonna go up. Uh, like put my hand on his shoulder if I can. He, he he looks at you. And goes, yes. Uh, yep. sorry, but uh, I I was wondering who your friend was. He 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 says, "Excuse me, one moment." And he kind of guides you off just a little bit and and whispers to you. Well. I am a member of the Zentara. We had received a message through our communication network. You might know it's the Black Network. And we were asked to deliver this. I was able to approach Lord Neverember in order to be able to attend this meeting in order for me to deliver the message. I was just informing my compatriot that it was delivered so that people knew that it was taken care of. Can I insight this? Sure. Insight. Oh, he seems to be telling the truth. He, he, he kind of took it that if you were able to notice that those hand gestures, you're probably some sort of roguish type and Rogues tend to be a part of the underbelly. Um, okay, so this wasn't necessarily a bad thing that he did. He just was letting his people know that the message was sent. Yes. It, okay. it was it was a message as it was said. So he has uh, connections with the Zentarum. Do I know and... who the Zentarum is? Um, if it's like check. a secret society, I I wouldn't. Well, it, it's kind of iffy. Uh, just roll me a history Wait. check. Okay. <laughs> Look at these. Oh, wow. (laughs) Um, Despite all the time that you have spent essentially away from most civilized uh, civilizations, um, you have spent some time in Misty Forest and you have heard of this network of criminals called the Zentarum. They're not necessarily ones who are like murderers or bandits or anything. Um, so it's it's the seedy underbelly that every city needs sort of thing where certain black market trades are done and they thrive on a thriving civilization. Oh boy. Uh, especially cities. So 
while there were, were probably these entire agents inside the Misty Forest, there were probably few and far between. Yeah. But you have heard of their presence, and people who had come from like Waterdeep or Baldur's Gate uh, might have had stories about mysterious and uh, uh or black network as they're sometimes called activities okay um well i catholic doesn't really see anything wrong with this so mm -hmm. uh he'll he'll go back to the group and say um sorry just paranoia he uh one more up there by to one of his friends. Yeah, I would. I would also say that the insight it was pretty much everything he told you was genuine. So, like, kind of a way of authenticating the message. Almost. Yeah. So, they're not trying to like lure you somewhere. Somebody actually got the message to the Zentarum, who then passed it on to you. Possibly spending a lot of coins in the process. So, um, uh, I, I will Wall definitely Wall say say uh, Nee would have would have mentioned oh. says whenever you're ready, make whatever preparations we need. I know that you may have some other other business, but it kind of gives you the option. Hey, do you want to go directly to Fay, or do you want to? Uh, investigate this wizard's tower and see if you can find this Iskender. I guess we should... What does everyone think we should do? Um... The main mission is to go to the castle um, and rescue this guy. Uh, and what was the optional thing to do? Well, they're both they're both the uh, main things we need to do. So there is to go to um, to the wizard's tower to try to rescue the one member of the cultist that wants to defect. Otherwise, there is a diplomatic mission to stay to try to parlay with the wizards of Th the Crimson Wizards of Thay to join us. Okay, the letter says uh, that the guy is uh, could be in serious danger if someone finds out that he sent this letter. Right. Well, there. It's more of the. The, the, like because he's wanting to defect, the longer he's there, the more likely they find out he's wanting to defect. Maybe we should hurry up and get him out before they figure that out. Federica? Um, we saved the person that Wizard of Thays are not going out anytime soon. I would really like to see these this wizard tower," says Cyrus. Y yeah, you know, there. you know, Cyrus. If we're going there, we're probably going to destroy it, right? Why would we want to do that? Because there are evil wizards inside. Well, I mean, the the the, the wizards for look. I've read a lot of books. <laughs> And I have heard of this uncle's tower, and it's been around a lot longer than the Cult of the Dragon has probably had been. And Zontal, the guy it was named after, uh, uh, had nothing to do with the Cult of the Dragon. We don't know what happened to him. He, uh, people think he was just kind of locked away. He kind of secluded himself and died. Um, and just the tower just stayed there, so it was aban essentially abandoned. But other than that, I mean, it's Wizard's Tower. I mean, I don't, I don't even know if we could, we, we would even be able to destroy it for that matter. Okay. So save the 
save the guy from the cult or go to the wizard's tower to do what? Save the guy from the cult. Cult. Oh. Wait, so what are we what are we arguing? Okay, so <laughs> There's so, either save the guy for the cult or talk to the the wizards of Fae to join our our cause. Oh, we could split up. Shut up! We don't split the group. That is a horrible idea. You see this? Um, you 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 see uh, the, uh, the this little red red fiery pseudo dragon around his neck suddenly uh, look directly at Federine's says he knows best never to split the party you know that's a really bad idea uh squall you would recognize that voice as being yeah but we know that we have members waiting here that could go there what i mean is if it, if we're timed we could ask half the party we could ask the the frog and uh, Cyrus to go and uh, talk with the mages, and we can ask Kriv at the same time, and we could go to the tower. Wait, you think I want to go talk to Red the Red Wizards of Thay? I mean, it's just going to be a bunch of talk. That's not fun. Like going to see a Wizard's Tower. I'm going to the Wizard's Tower. I know, if, if but at the would. same time, at the Wizard of Tay, you might learn new spells. You know, wizards like to share their knowledge. I mean, what do we know about these wizard, Wizards of Thay? Uh, I, I actually have no idea about these Red Wizards of Thay. Didn't we, didn't we run across them in our past adventures? Yeah, there was the, the two we saw in the... Uh, in the, the ice castle. Castle. The one with slaughter. Yeah, Red Brothers to say, I'm called, called, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, they are a group of evil wizards about 200 and some miles. Let me, let me slow down. They're about 235 miles east of Waterdeep. And they are necromancers. I don't know. Is that a good thing? Oh, what they say. Reduce, reuse, reanimate. Zinderlov uh, goes... No. I don't know if I would be appropriate for me to go visit the Red Wizards. Good Especially friend. if they're evil. And I'm companies. certainly not suited to go and meet up with evil. I am against enrolling these wizards for the first place, but at the same time, I can see the greater cause. Maybe we should go save this guy. Yeah. And then think about recruiting these uh evil well, wizards. I, I have I have been known to uh Squall just pick up but like I have been known to be rather persuasive, so maybe I can help with that and all. Which he has said for like the thirteenth time. Yeah. I just had this weird sense of deja vu that this that this specific moment had just happened previously. So weird. The glitch in the matrix. Anyways, so the vote's a uh, wizard tower. Yes. Yes. Poor Justin. <laughs> yeah, poor Justin. I mean, you can just decide that he wandered off and do a solo session with him if you want. No, because Cyrus himself would want to do this. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, there's so so much things to do back there. He might just be like, you know what, guys? Be right back. And we're like, well, we got a things to do. Well, you choose. 
Um, he's like, no, I, I'm coming to that tower. Nothing will stop me from going to visit the tower. That will be cool. No, that's what I mean. Like, when, when we arrive at the tower, he's like, well, got things to do. You could, he's saying, like, he could do, like, a you and Justin can have, like, a, so, a separate session where, like, he explore. Like, in the meantime, while you guys are doing this, this happens with Cyrus. Yeah. Like, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how I can bullshit that my, my way through that. <laughs> You've been in doing it your whole life. You're going to be great at it. Like, haven't you pretty much been doing that this whole campaign with a little help from the modules? Yeah. Mm, I suppose that's true. <laughs> All right. So you get coordinates for Zonful's um, Tower. Uh, how, how, how would you like to get there? Where, where is the uh, like is it somewhere close to somewhere you, we've been before? Uh, hold on. Let me, let's see here. Uh, uh, you guys. Why have it marked? My question. Excuse me. Uh, Sword Coast. Because I don't believe it's nearby. Maybe if I zoom down. Yeah, I be better. As we are I don't like We're here, right? A second. I can't wait to go to Icewind Dale. That's another campaign. I know. Which I kind of currently am doing. <laughs> Which you're doing as a player, but not as a DM. Yeah. The planes are shifting. See, no. Don't see Zorthor's tower. The hurt is erupting. You can clearly see magma coming out of the uh, of the ground. The end is nigh. I swan dive into the lava. All right. <laughs> You're like peace, bitches. So long, fuckers. Where would this be? Hill of Muscles, Battle of Bones, Skull Court, Dragon Spear, Trolls Hill. My friend for the Blood God Skull for the Skull's Throne. And Loud Water. Forest of Worms. I no, forgot not a lot of say. War. The Forgotten Forest. I bet it's in the fields of the dead. Feels very war uh wizardy. Hills of the Lost Soul. Neverwinter? Battle of Bone? The Amen. Um, on souls tower. That doesn't look good. 
that says something. Let's try this again. So it's on the opposite side of the high forest. That color, and do this in big. Are we looking for something specific? Uh, no, it's not on the map. Uh, yeah. Uh, so he's making up where the location is. Ah. Uh, hey. And of course, the book doesn't say anything about it. So. Watch critical. Remember to watch critical role here. So it's, near, it's it's near the foot in the foothills of the Nether Mountains. Ninety-two point eight feet, which the legend is nowhere. But that's a that's a that's a hardy track. Horseback. Because it took us from here to here about a month. Right? It took us a month to, to get yeah. from Boulder's Gate to Waterdeep? Yeah, yeah, like two. Or a month and a half. So it would take us at least two months on horseback. Hey, when? Mm -hmm. Since we're on this map, uh, where would you say I'm originally from? Where my tribe is? I am going to say that your tribe is not on this map. Okay. Uh, <laughs> further further uh, east. Oh, Where did yeah. we you ran far away. You had to I... run, run so far away. Did Did he walk ten thousand miles? He <laughs> did walk ten thousand miles. He will walk ten thousand oh. more. Just a Can question. Loud water, hmm? and then get there, like a. Can you all see a... my lines? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So basically, go through loud water to. Is this no great? Yeah, we'll follow that road that goes through loud water. Mm -hmm. the I, have, I have a question though. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, the meaning of the dragons weren't on Silver Moon. Where was the meaning of the dragons? Yeah. Uh, no, Silver Moon is the city of elves. Yeah, but it's not on Silver Moon, but wasn't it in like this area with the mountains? No, I believe it was not on this map. Oh. You don't have any easy way of getting over to that area. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just okay. going to say, uh, you know, an ancient dragon can fly a very long way in a day. Okay, and we received the the we received a letter, right, from Xantal Tower. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I don't want to play anyone's character, but Cyrus would do that. Would would do it because he has the intelligence of it. We received an item coming from the the Xantal Towers, which makes the spell teleport uh, um, a sure go. Yeah. No. Think of all your resources. An ancient dragon can travel a really long way in a day. You're Laden. right. Laden. You're right. But teleport is faster. Yeah, but still not as reliable as a flight on an ancient dragon. Let's find our ancient dragon. Back to the compound, then. Anyway, we have a meeting tonight with the um um what's her name the lord of waterdeep that i forgot her name uh lariel silverhand yes 
Mr. Harris was talking to you earlier. Yes, but we had the meeting to do, so... Oh, yeah, we were just talking some wizardy stuff. You, know, you guys probably wouldn't be interested in that. Well, she's still the one that me that wants to meet horror dragons, so at do the same time... how old she is? I never... She doesn't look as old as she is. She's looking really good for her age. Would it be offensive to say 90? Oh, no, no, she's much older than that. No, it, 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 it wouldn't be a flattery. <laughs> Uh, wait, maybe an insult, like calling her a baby? I mean, it depends on how, how people would take it. Is she drunk? <laughs> she might take it good. Any whom, let's go. Uh, it, it, pretty simple meeting when you kind of, like, discuss the situation. Uh, she kind of understands uh, the necessity and the trust that's been built up with the eyes bio. Um, she just asks to meet with these dragons um, so that uh, she can identify them and allow them access. So I will telepathically ask Shatan to show up um, at the meeting. And if he can bring either or both Lennon and... Well, I think uh, it's more than that. Because you're, you're meeting her in town. Yeah, but I think it, I mean, so she, she'll she's she's willing to come to the eyes. Of yeah, I'm just telling them like be there, don't wander off. We need you there. Okay, okay, gotcha. Uh, so uh, she speaks with some of her aides, uh, and uh, some guard, guards come uh, with her, and you can easily escort them to the, to the eyes of Io. Uh, as you enter uh, the compound, um, uh, uh, Kriv comes around the corner and says, says, get there out back. Sorry, I'm going to play you for a second just because I need you to give directions. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and, and you probably uh, uh, bow to, to Larry Elsie, lady or something like that. Um, you you go out to the back in the beach and you see this ancient black and gold dragon uh, laying down in the sand uh, actually with his hind quarters are in the water and uh, uh, you see uh, Chitantan dragon form and uh, Kasota is kind of like climbing onto Layden and Layden's kind of like like being looking at her funny and actually kind of laughing at her finding it cute and the ancient dragon looks up and says ah you must be L'Oreal Silverhand I am Layden Nyquil Demirev this is my sister Lemon, get off me. We've got a steam guest. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Daddy. Are you being good? Yeah. Yeah, Daddy. I'm sorry. I, I just, every time he turns into an ancient dragon, it's it's just fun. Like, I could look like this in the future. Yeah, it'll be a long time. And Chitant's actually sitting there, sitting up straight. Hi, Mama. Oh. I don't know if I should be impressed, relieved, or wondering what you did. I did nothing. Yeah, that's, that's... I was good boy. You can even ask Lemon. She goes, yeah, he hasn't stolen anything or rearranged anything. He's being weird. The ancient dragon. Circles. You're you're gonna see you're gonna see uh sister just coming to his boy and just take a big whiff. Mm. Well, he spells pretty much the same as he he normally is. Yep, that cannot be faked. I suppose I learned a thing or two from Raven Coro. The same. 
uh, Lariel uh, comes up and says, and looks at Layden and is like, These three are from the same clutch? It's the same clutch of same. We've had them at the same time, and they were sitting next to each other. Probably the same mother. Uh, Layden looks down on her and, and sa says, um, due to certain circumstances, um, Papa and I, uh, Krebus, um, had gone on a jo journey to save his friend's souls. Uh, we traveled many planes, time was weird, and it took us a thousand years to find our quarry. And after taking care of it, we came back, and it was just like the next day here on, here on the material realm. During that time, of course, well, I aged. Very else like confused. Okay. So will you be in the city in this form? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, and he, he transforms uh, into his dragonborn form. Uh, yeah, if, I, if I do go in, into the city, the city, it will be in my dragonborn form. As you can see, I am a devoted paladin of Bahamut, my dragonborn form. And this uh, black dragonborn girl uh, suddenly appears at his side. Yeah, he's my big brother. Isn't he cool? Well, he's not the only one who's cool. Yeah, and this blue boy suddenly appears and says, not as cool as me. I could stab people. No, not that I would do, do in the city or anything, unless, like, attack first or, 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 or mama tells me and mama's... Mama wouldn't tell me to do anything bad, so definitely not. Everything's fine. I'm just really good with daggers. Okay. Sorry, I'll, I'll looks looks at this really odd clutch. I think that two young dragon bull dragons can polymorph, <laughs> and it and uh, lemon. Goes, yeah, I got this amulet from from Candlekeep. It allows me to polymorph only a certain number of times a day. I I I use it like to to spend some time to manage the household because I want to make sure that everything's in its place. I had a lot of experience in my daddy's library, and 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 then otherwise I I, I go into uh. uh the, the the library and and do some work or sometimes I mean I, I take a, a teleportation uh, a, a circle to uh, Candlekeep where I do some studying there and they allow me to actually be full dragon but sometimes I can't get through through some places so I use my polymorph morph uh, amulet to uh, uh, become in this form so that I can walk the sacks. And they've actually set up a nice little cozy place for me to do do some reading. And I and and it looks almost exactly like what what Daddy set up for me in the the secret lair. And and late in turn uh, looks like lemon. Calm down. And sorry. So with your my lady's permission. We would like to be able to enter the city. Obviously, we would stick to these Fair forms. Up. And uh, says, well, now that I met you, it will make this job much easier. It is good to meet you. And uh, I hope that you enjoy your stays in Waterdeep and just don't cause any trouble, please. I can not do that. <laughs> do you say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> and and Shatant goes, I promise. And he has his hand behind his back. He, he has a, like one ha hand in front, kind of like giving a like a chest, yeah. view, but it, he's also got another hand behind his back. Finger crossed. <laughs> and and Layden sa says, uh, by my devotion to Bahamut, on it, I pledge. Lemon. Mm -hmm. I don't plan on going to the city, but if I need to, 
Ooh, guys probably have books in the city, don't they? They have That's libraries. Ah, ah. You, you, there's a squeal from of excitement from Lemon. Your and, dad did uh, the same. <laughs> Lariel uh, chuckles and says, uh, "I will return to Waterdeep. Uh, you should be your actions should be granted by this evening." Says. Uh, we're not currently planning on anything right now, but uh, uh, so take your time. And they leave. Well, now that this is done, Layden. Oh, yes. We might need you to go fast. Uh, we, need a, we need a ride. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, how long will we be gone? It's a two like months, a day or... right? Well, no, it'll only, it'll only take him like a day. Yeah, like still. Like on a map. Could you show me where we're intending to go? Yes. You show so, me on a map. Says, oh, yeah. It, I mean, it's it's not going to be like super fast but i should be able to get get you nearby in a day um it sounds like well what what exactly is going on there uh no go ahead and explain everything um, i'm just gonna interrupt squall from talking we never know who's listening though so i'm just gonna hand out the letter to lennon so he can read we're at the compound still in any case oh okay well, you probably don't want me to get too close to the tower because a ancient dragon would probably be pretty pretty obvious. I mean, despite the fact that I do have black scales, I also have plenty of gold scales and rather yeah. odd look. So I will deliver you to probably uh, maybe half a day's walk. Mm. Uh, let's see, there's it's a fine. forest here. Oh, we circle oh, around. As we I get do. closer, I think I'll, pro we'll, I'll probably find a good landing spot so you can approach from the ground. We do have an idea, though. What's that? As you may have golden scales, you could still approach, approach as a black dragon. We just need to taw your golden scale for a moment. A good bath could take uh, all the gunk away. I don't think that would necessarily work. I mean, I was born with these scales. Yes. Also, shaping my head very much more gold dragon wings. It's I'm not very much. I passing off for for black for a pure black dragon. Probably few and far between. Besides the fact that. Based off of this, I'm not sure if they actually frequently have dragons visiting. You might be right. So I think it would probably be better if we perch from the ground. You approach from the ground. But I can get you very close. I've never complained about a walking trip. Uh, would you like to do that? Now it's kind of like mid-afternoon. Uh, would you like to do this tonight? Uh, I could probably get you there probably about midnight or so. Sounds good. I need to talk to Quartz as is. Yeah. Make your preparations and uh, just let me let me know. I'll make a journey. Oh, I should probably tell Dad and Papa. He runs into the to the building. Oh, boys sticking next to you, Frederica, um, and uh, Lemon actually runs after her brother. What time is it? Uh, it's like mid-afternoon. Okay, so um, we could go and do some shopping. Yes. There are some things I would like to try to procure. Do things in the cover of night. 
Who has the infiltrator's key? Uh, oh, boy I, does. Boy. Is he coming with us? Of course he is. But do you want it? Uh, no, it, it's it's fine, as long as one of us has it. Yes. You can have it if you wish so. He he has a nice dagger, and I think Quartz should be by now ready with the others. It requires attunement. Ooh. Uh -huh. You have an attunement slot. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, any of the artifacts require attunement. I guess I can get rid of the slippers of spider climbing, but I really like them. Or at least I like the idea of them. I mean, when in doubt, you can just wait until we have it. When it comes yeah, to yeah. You, it says, hey, by the way, uh, so it seems to be like you're more roguish type or like rogue bros. Yeah. Just bump it. <laughs> He's waiting for a fist bump. Oh, <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna. Okay. Th this is this is uh for Catholic. Um, we're gonna yeah. stab people together. He does not. <gasps> he has no idea what you're doing. Okay. Um. Hey. So you're you're gonna see him fist bump himself like nice. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> So I got this. I got this thing. It's called an infiltrator's key. It's really kind of cool because, like, see, it's a key, right? Right. Watch this. <laughs> and it turns into a dagger. It's kind of cool. But here's the thing. Thing too. Shook. It turns back into a key. Cool thing about this. It works just like lock picks, except they won't break. Okay. So, I was wondering since like, like we're, we're rogue bros now, um, would you? Because like, it can it can also like cast spells. So like, you can like alter yourself. It doesn't work very well. Work on me for some reason. It's really weird. Probably because of the thing. Because I I, I have this thing where I'm like, I can polymorph myself into a little of a falcon. But um, but that's about it. And it just alter self when you're already polymorphed it doesn't really work very well so i can't use that but and it has invisibility but i don't really need it because when like i'm in dragon form i can turn invisible but it does it does allow you to cast knock and or and pass without a trace i'll take it cool also also when you're walking it makes you quieter. I don't know how it does it. It's really cool. I've caused so much mischief doing it. It's caught me doing it. And it's awakened? It is awakened. Um, I will unattune to uh, my slippers. And yeah. Tune to the key. Cool. Court easily takes the slippers. And he takes the slippers back. And he uh he takes them and puts them on the counter and he reaches underneath, pulls out a little like squirt bottle and goes psst, 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 psst. Right. Rub them. Um so can I search for an item? Yeah, sure. What are you looking for? I'm looking for either two items for either me or boy. It would be a sword of Parun or a peregrine mask, which are both uh, very rare. Okay, so you go into town, see what you find. Yeah. Or it doesn't have anything. Yeah, I, I, I know. I know he doesn't have those. Yeah, go ahead and uh, roll me in the. Uh... A, uh, oh, uh, pause, pause. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you're going to the town, would you have said you're yes, going? Yes, I said I'm going shopping. Okay. Um, 
Because I know, I think you have a better investigation than me. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you have proficiency. Um, because I, I would like to try to find a Rod of the Pack Keeper. I so can certainly look for that. I will pay for it. Sure. Uh, I can look for that at the same time. So, right. so, boy follows you, having been told by uh, the Silverhand that uh, he should be able to enter the city but later that night. You get up to the yeah. city, and he walks right in. Oh, nice. He's, he's like walking in, and he goes, oh. Welcome to your first big city? Wow, this is so cool. All right, so um, investigation check. Yep. Boy is going to give me advantage, I guess, since I'm not going to roll for him. Yep. Okay. Uh, so invest one. The first one is going to be for the uh, Sword of Parun, the second one for um, Peregrine, and third one for the uh, uh, Rod of the Pack Keeper. Cool. Okay. 26, awesome. 25, 20. Yeah. Uh, so, um, you find a couple shop. Uh, you find one shop. Um, it, it seems like this uh, uh, absent-minded uh, uh, halfling uh, who introduces you as Hanfro, and uh, he says, uh, "Sorry, I don't have anything of those in stock. I, I mean, I do have a uh, dagger of venom, a uh, word of life stealing, and a trident of fish command. Uh, I do have a couple of like plus two weapons if you need it." Um, uh, well, I mean, it's a sling and a whip, but a whip. Uh, less mm -hmm. ones. Uh, I got a uh, couple of uh, uh, plus one darts. Uh, got a plus one hand crossbow, hand axe, a, uh, a couple of light light crossbows, but oh. I don't really have anything like that. I haven't really heard of anything. Like that. You may want to check with the armor down the street. Mm, maybe uh, they do. It's, it, it, yeah, it's Zeri's armor and shields. That would make, uh, oh, um, you don't have books by any chance. Just give me a second. Like, pretty expensive and rare books. What do I look like, a library? Those are magical books. Uh, any, any of the six. Do I look like a library? No, I'm oh. sorry, I don't have any. Okay. I get, I get it. Have a nice day. Uh, you go to the armor shop. Uh, to, uh, Zuri's uh, it seems to be a male dwarf. Uh, seems skinny for a male, uh, for the male dwarf. Uh, he's uh, uh working some armor. Uh, you do notice that he has a nice wall of uh, of shiny adamantine armor. And a couple of uh, plates and and she plate armor shields, uh, some padded armor. But um, based off of what you can see, not necessarily what you're looking for. Uh, is there anything I do for you? Uh, I could tell you about the sock. Yeah, a bunch of uh, adamantine armor. I've been practicing. It's a very hard material to work with, but. When you've got it, you might as well make some. I've got some shade mail, I change art, I a ring mail, a scale of mail, a splint, a couple of splint ones. Uh, I do have some uh, plate armor, resistance for force, some uh, resistance for fire, studded leather for thunder. Uh, I got a, a, couple, a couple of sentinel shields. Very nice. Uh, just some standard padded plus ones uh, armor and the uh, 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 half plate armor. That's pretty much it for right now. Mm. All right. The DM um, has found a site that generates random mag magic shops. And <laughs> 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 he's using it. 
All right. So um, for all intents and purposes, you technically now do not need to roll investigation rolls because the results will always be. Okay. It, so it'll be more of do you find the shop? Yeah, more do you find do you find the right shops? Yeah. Um. All right. In that ouch. Aye, aye. In that case, unfortunately, we didn't find what we were looking for. Do you have something you would want, boy? I know you just. I heard you gave up your uh, your dagger for uh, for key no, trick. I, I mean, I mean, just just your dagger. I mean, that was I, I only gave him the uh, it, it, the key, the infiltrator key. So I still got this this dragon tooth dagger. <gasps> What's I supposed to ask Quart if he had finished the other one? Yes, we better. I thought that's the same thing. That. Um, would you like to have a um? Uh, a good warning dagger? Uh, what's that? Um, I don't know if they have it here, though. Um, it's in the other places. It's a, it's any weapon that bears this um, sigil makes it that it rings. If you're, uh, if you're in danger, uh, whether you sleep or not, you're going to be wo awoken. So what, what was it called again? Uh, any weapon warning. of warning. warning. Maybe a good artisan could make the sigils on a better weapon? Yeah, maybe. Could definitely take a look. I mean, maybe some court might be able to put together. Probably. Then go see court. Uh, you go see court. He does have the other dagger ready for you. Is that the yes. ice dagger? Uh, well, he's he has technically the poison, the ice, and um, the uh, acid. Okay. Uh, that he can roll me a d six. Yes. He's, so, he's got uh, he's got a poison one done. He says, I'm still working on the other two. Sorry. Oh, but the dragon too. Oh, okay. But poison is still okay. Yeah. So basically a second dragon tooth, but just poison damage. Yep. Good. What was the first one? Acid. Okay. So you already had acid. Yeah, I already had acid, but yeah, like I still bring stuff, so. So he's still working on the ice. Yeah. Well, that's good. Um. I'm gonna. Uh, go I'm gonna ask Lennon if he has spare toots of of his uh his time. <laughs> you're you're asked Lennon. No, not Lemon. Lennon. Lennon. Oh, oh, Layden. <laughs> Layden. He says. Uh, no, I haven't oh. really need. I keep my teeth very clean. Thank you very much. There's no way in hell this this shiny smile gets is going to be be uh, gonna fall out of my mouth. So the only way you can get my teeth would be to kill me, and I wouldn't recommend you try. Well, I wouldn't do that either way. Yeah, I got a daddy and papa that would probably kill you. That's not what I'm afraid, unfortunately. Oh, okay, and also I'd probably kill you first, but yeah. Well, it's 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 more that it it would be an hindrance to whatever we're doing. <laughs> There's plenty of red dragons to kill back there. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we could also like. I wonder if like there might be like. So you you guys met the this the the ancient dragon council thing, right? Yes. I wonder how much of self care they actually take. <laughs> like, like if we went and visited their horde, not to steal anything from it. Maybe he has teeth that fell out lying around. Yeah, don't get me wrong. We, yeah, don't get me wrong. Uh, uh, they grow back pretty pretty easily, but. Yeah, we're one of those people who have this weird thing where bones actually regrow. It's so strange. 
this is my complaint about the fact that te- that uh, humans can only have one set of teeth, and once they fall out, they won't come back. Yeah, I think it's weird and stupid because teeth are essentially bones. So, anyways, well, that's beside the point. I guess some men's preferred that way. <laughs> In any case. Uh, hey, Jorn. Yeah? How's it going? Hey, yeah. It's, it's fine. I've got it taken care of. Don't worry about it. And uh, it's like, okay. Um, might be out late tonight. Uh, can take these guys uh, off to uh, uh, tower. Oh, by night, I might be able to get closer, especially with my black scales. Might be able to hide in. So you're probably as far away once we get there. Like, is there like do we do you know much about the area? Like, is there a town near the tower or anything? Unfortunately, I wouldn't know. I am not from here. Mm, that's probably true. that's true. Well, well, have probably lemon should know. Oh, yeah, that's a good good idea. Let's go see if we could find her. Uh, you start searching through the house, um, and free books, uh, free books to get. <laughs> yeah, he he immediately goes to anywhere where there's books. He goes to the study and he finds this. Uh, finds his sister uh, curled up on a couch. She's got a blanket or, uh, across her and she's got a book in her hands and she seems to be uh, sipping on some sort of hot, hot drink. And she's got like pillows all around her. I'm going to um, comment and you're the one who's old now. I mean, to me, it's an age. It's just age. She's smart, and it looks more like she's just like curled up reading a good book. I mean, did, really, do you, would you have to be really old to do such a thing? I'm saying, anyways, let me go deliver you. You guys got teleport thing, right? To to just come right back here, so I could like go and leave, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. You just need to get two there got it perfect yes. perfect okay cool um yeah let's go uh if, if everybody's done if, if there's anything else you need court or you, some well, of you were sorry. is squall around here uh, we should probably find everybody yes um quartz uh squall what are you doing um Oh, it's funny. Um, I was going to go to uh, Quartz to look for some healing potions. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're probably going to meet back at Quartz since I have a question for him. But, like, I was doing this while, this would have been while you were at, in town. Oh, yeah. So yeah. This, is, and then, this is all happening. Yeah. And then probably would have spent time with Jordan. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, so he's like, oh, healing potions, perfect. Uh, hold on. And he goes down below the below the counter, or uh, goes into to the back. All commands covered. Lifter, I need you. Yeah, could you get that box up there? Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, and, and that one over there. Okay, cool. All right. And he comes out and sets uh, two boxes. Um, uh, basically, with with some handles on it, so it's like potion carrying cases. And he opens them up, and you find one of them has one, two, three, five regular healing potions. And so I got five he- regular healing potions and two greaters. 
I'd happily take those. Yep. Uh, need any other alchemical things? I got a few other things. Any uh, potions of resistance? Uh, resistance, resistance. You know what? I did a lot of my resistance stuff in, uh, on armor lately. Nope. Don't really have anything. We have a couple of... Uh, but... Oh. You know what? I bet Federica would like this one. He pulls pulls out, and it's, this is like the, it's this like clear liquid, but there seems to be some sort of like like there it there seems to be a little bit of lightning inside of it or something. You see this kind of like lightning strikes happening to this little floating uh, piece of thing. This. This is a potion of storm giant sink. Oh, yes. I mean, I do also have like a stone giant one, a hill giant one, and a fire giant one, but if you'd be, you'd be interested in that. I mean, knowing Frederica, she she's like, go big or go home. So, yeah, she is. Otherwise, I just have a elixir of health. Actually, you might find that one handy. Um, you have an oil sharpness. I have um, a filter of love. Potion of dimination. I shrink. Um, I do have a potion of gaseous form. And I do have a potion of water breathing. I'm not sure if that's helpful. But that's my current stock. Thank you. This will do for now. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome. Yes, I had a buyer for the filter. I wonder if Jana is. There. Hey, Lifter. Yeah, we're going into town once uh, these guys are done with their. Shopping, browsing. I mean, we need to make money for you guys anyway, so. Um, actually, I'm going to go see, um, well, I'm going to go see Lemon since Cyrus is not there. So that way you can just okay. play the part. Um, and I'm gonna ask if there is um anything she think the new new shatant and his behavior would uh, benefit in the vault. Any weapons or in the vault? Yes. Hmm. Let me think. Spiders embrace venom fang, uh, will of the talent, silk and spite. No, not will of the, the talent. My bad. No. Here we go. Nope. I mean, he's not very proficient in long sword, so the dawn saber wouldn't really work very well. Not spellcaster, so the spider. Conflicts. Uh, we do have the quick draw gloves that Roland gave us back. That was very kind of him. Yeah, very. He's not a monk, so the wraps of Diamok weren't really helpful. There is the kiss of the change bringer. You know that uh, it, that's just a, a thing you could put on his head. It's just a, like the silver chain with a little em emerald. I know it like helps like saving on gives a bonus to saving throws, and he's immune to grapple and restrained. 
Uh, and additionally, he may, can use an action to cast the, the spell Blink on himself. What was that? He use that one during the long rest. The Kiss of the Trainage Bringer. I don't see it, unfortunately. We don't have uh, we don't have the the cool dagger that we had. Uh, you mean the other trader's key? No, the other ones in the vault. Oh, venom thing. Um, pa uh, Daddy specifically told me no. He specifically said no because he knew we weren't ready to use those kind of weapons. I think your brother matured enough to use it. Daddy says no. No. All right. I mean, from everything I found out, there's a freaking Merilis that's been bound to that thing. It's bad. It's evil. I mean, do you really want Shatan to, to, to become evil? Shatan is not going to become evil. Well, probably not, but still. <laughs> I, I think this Merilith is going to be is going to be uh, going crazy if she tries to speak with him. I don't know about that. In any case, I wouldn't trust him with it. I mean, he's matured some, sure, but still to taunt. Well. I mean, he thinks he he got away with uh, moving some books around, but I, mean, I caught that like in no time at all. I just never told him. I just sighed and put him back. He thinks he's smarter than me, but he's not because I'm smarter than him. Do you know why well, I'm smarter than him? I read because he reads books. books. Yeah. Keep everything in memory. I'm so smart. Well, if your daddy said no, I guess it's going to be a no. Yeah. There's nothing I can do for that. Anything he's classified on that side of the wall? Nope. Not, not the her queen, out. not anything her over there. Well, almost anything. No, he's, he's put everything there and he's never taken them out and he yeah, won't no. until like this whole debacle is and we're taking them to where they're probably more secure than the, the secret layer. Give in to your darkest whims. <laughs> boy, if Boy really wanted to have those weapons, he could have gotten it like any time. But he's matured. Well, he can dominate um, Lemon to do it. But he's not because he's not evil. Nope. I mean, I may be, still be a young girl. I'm not as old as my older brother, but I am still smart enough to know that those Bad weapons should never be used, and they should be locked away, if not somehow destroyed, which can be very difficult. And even if you were able to successfully destroy them, there might be some after effects, which is really bad. So, that's yeah, the whole lock the way thing. I read a few things. Did you ever read the book about the spell plague? It's fascinating. Unfortunately, I haven't. It's uncommon to my knowledge over here. Oh, that's probably true. You're not you're not actually from here, but I found it really fascinating. It's creepy. 
I'm sure it is. In any case, um, I'm just going to go see Quartz and ask him if he can put some warning glyphs on either daggers, I guess. Sure. Is that, uh, oh, here, hold on. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see the daggers. Uh, so the dragon tooth? Um, yeah. They're not, they're not compatible, unfortunately. Mm. We'd have to use separate daggers. Well, that wouldn't mind, unfortunately. Like, as long as he has it on himself, it's still going to apply. So. Oh, yeah, I got a couple of those. He, he goes out and he pulls out a couple. It's just different styles. Choose, choose which one you want. You might yeah. want to have a ranged weapon. He he looks at looks at them and it's just kind of like. Hmm. I like the serrated one, but I'm not sure how throwing would work on that. And he finds this oh. this one that literally looks like a mini sword. It's about like <laughs> six a inches dart. long. A dart of warning. Long has no. It's it's definitely a dagger, but but it's like. It's more like along the lines of a stiletto. Oh, yes. And he says, this could be useful. He says, ah, you, you, you think your throwing might work with that? Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll work on a couple more for you. Anyways, are, are, are you guys done? Done here? Are you going to be on your way? Um, mainly because I have a date. I mean, I have a thing in town. Yes, we are. Okay. Excellent. Um, oh, what do I have on this sheet? Uh, you are able to get. Um, Shatan only takes one dagger of warning. Yeah, yeah. But uh, court may have more at a later time. Okay. Lifter, keep watch over the shop. After like a few moments, you, you might see Court like walking through, decked out to the nines. Uh, and he has like this very, this very uh, f formal looking leather bag, which. It's court, so it's probably a bag of holding. Uh, uh, looped her around and says, Don't worry, I'll be back before midnight. And he starts heading off. So, court is out. Uh, because of uh, things, let's take a uh, quick, quick bio break for everybody. I need to top off my beverage, so. Okay. You're back. All right. <laughs> Sharing sound, and I started playing the Let's Talk About Kink little to sound we had. So I figured that out. I'm watching the two of you, and I'm like, David is busy pounding the fuck out of the palm of his hand with his with his uh, fan, and Jeff's over there jamming to Janet Jackson. I was like, that, 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 that. I see what's happening. <laughs> Janet Jackson, somebody else. I don't remember who it was. It's, kinky, kinky. it's Salt and Pepper. Oh, oh, that's um. Oh wait, yeah, I think who that's is escape? The kink. I think that's escape. I think that's escape. You're right. I was thinking of feedback. Which like, where where the hell did we get that sounder from? We haven't heard it in a while. I know we haven't we haven't done an LTAK in quite a while, and this theoretically is an LTAK, but not. It's an LTAK, but it's also an ATNS. So we just kind of supplanted the LTAK with ATNS, and we're being all acronistic because we're talking about LGBTQIA plus. Yeah. It's it's oh, no, it was it's SWV. 
that did can we get hinky tonight and we it's called the have Park more Canada. initialisms yeah SWV. because <laughs> you know here at col we're all about the abbreviation lgbtqia yeah so uh this year for our S-O-L. annual discussion <laughs> gtfo <laughs> stfu <Okay. clears throat> so, <laughs> um as I was saying, so this year for our Pride discussion, we've got a two-parter. Previously on Cubs Out Loud, we discussed corporations. Oh boy. And now that we've told big, big, big business, you know, box stores, international conglomerates, uh, we told them to fuck off with their pandering. So let's piss off even more people on our thoughts about kink not being considered a part of Pride for our community. Uh, I, I had I, since last week I, I did remember or, or uh, I, I, I did I, I looked over the, the list again and I did notice that I never shop at Walmart. I refuse to shop at Walmart. Uh, I, 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 I do not like it, Sam I am Sam's Club. Uh, I do not like uh, uh, Walmart and ham. anyways. Um, but I, and I did notice that wasn't on that list in that little like block list that I went on my whole tangent about how the HRC zero core score right. um, um, was Target based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Target. It is, Target Boutique is my department store of choice amongst those of, of that oh. level. And that's where I do shop. So I'm very proud to see well. That I shop there. That's, that's nice. Don't buy the private merch because it's shit. Um, oh. <laughs> I forgot there was put some potions in the bag. Now, of are you like putting. And people got a peek at uh, this last week's uh, All Tea No Shade show of Comes Out Loud, episode 606. All Tea No oh, really? Shade. LGBTQIA. Plus Pride 2021, part two, kink. Talking about the drama. I mean, we're gay. What do you expect? Um, that's happening about people uh, going to pride festivals and having some sort of kink gear on, like a like somebody walking around with a collar with a leash. Yeah. Like everything else is think about it now. Yeah. Yeah. The, it gains, uh, probably gain sanitized to the point that it's shameful to have kink representation. When the first parades all had people in like leather gear and all the other kind of kink stuff. Well, you also have to realize there is a difference between leather and kink. Well, yeah, there's, a, there's I, a crossover. I, Don't get me wrong. There's leather in kink, but uh, in some kink. Well, I, I'm I'm just saying like there there was kink. Like yes, kink has involved since Pride, like the Pride Festival and Pride Month conception at all but there was still kink representation back to that mm-hmm. so and it's not like they were doing the is explicit 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 accent um acts of kink uh in public yeah, it, or anything it's just they were wearing it, like Pup hoods or um, yeah. uh, collars and leashes, and it's not like it's fulsome or anything. Right, right. <laughs> and, and people are are saying, "Look at these things that happen at Pride." Well, some of the things they were showing were showing showing activities that were happening at Folsom, which the areas are strictly eighteen plus. <laughs> yeah, they're like core. Like you can't just want access accidentally wander into those areas like they have it all sectioned off yeah so uh yeah I, that was pretty much our opinions is is 
these people who are trying to sanitize things because of the things they're trying to sanitize and their their uh, reasoning behind it, excuses behind it, uh, is pure bullshit. So, uh, one of our uh, friends and previous uh, guests, uh, under their previous name, um, I don't think they've ever guessed it guessed it as, as their current name. But uh, they said, so here's the thing, because it apparently needs to be said. Wearing a leash in public harms absolutely no one. It violates no consent. This discord reeks of, think of the children, and no kink at pride, and I'm not here for this sanitation. For years, these types of excuses were used to actively harm homosexuals, trans folk, and anyone else who didn't fit the public perception of normal. Still to this day, we see people crying foul when anyone dares deviate from that norm. Oh, so they have kids on that, leash all the freaking time. Yeah. Well, not necessarily around their necks, but, you know. And, and their kids are in a harness. <laughs> yeah. What do you think that baby Bjorn is? <laughs> Essentially, it's a harness. Ooh, that's a high plus in that animal handling. Ooh, doggy. The highest I have is plus 10. With bonus, proficiency, and modifier. Expertise. Yay. Gotta right. love it. Do, do you have reliable talent? Isn't that the I, one where you can't, you essentially can't ro roll below a 10 on any skill? <laughs> skill checks. Um, I do. Yeah, nice. any, any, any uh, ability that adds proficiency bonus, I can't roll uh, below a 9. Oh, wait, uh, roll 9 or lower as a 10. Yeah. I always oh, yeah, okay, so you have to already be proficient in... Yeah, in the skill, and then yeah. it's uh, at least a 10. Yeah, so it's always... It, so you roll to see what you get, and if you get anything below a 10, it's... A 10. Just a 10. <laughs> and then plus your oh, I... over 10s. <laughs> it just gets insane. Uh... I'm gonna post it, and y'all can decide what it. I've always thought it meant like a. If I roll a nine, just treat it as a ten. Yeah, anything lower than a ten is roll nine or lower. So if you roll nine or yeah, anything below a ten is a ten. Okay, if you automatically. Roll, if you roll a one, it's a ten. Yeah. It automatically put a zero after that one. <laughs> but yeah. So going off of what I'm proficient in, uh, I the lowest I can roll is a 18. I nice. insight. Yeah, my performance persuasion and deception are all plus 10. Yay, beguiling influence. Mm -hmm. Don't need no channel divinities anymore. <laughs> I take invocations. Yeah, kind of the same thing. Yeah. Except, it, except no restrictions. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just always there. I don't it's have to have there. a charge. No charges. Yeah. 
a TikTok where guy like what is your most useless thing you've homebrewed for your camp your group your group's campaign? And one guy's like, I accidentally made a torture device. It's a dagger that heals auto like it auto heals whatever damage it does. So his group was using it as a torture device. Do we use passive insight? I don't really use it that often, if anything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have a decent passive investigation. I'm right here. Sister's passive investigation, because I didn't roll on the right page, is 25. Cool. <laughs> Well, sister is based intelligence, weirdly enough. Well, considering what you used to be. Yeah. I still don't know what Frederica is. She's a fighter. Okay. Uh, Dragon Bonded, which is a uh, homebrewed uh, yeah. or, or archetype. Okay. Oh, well, um... I had a question in the meanwhile. If if sister would go well if Frederica would go uh, artificer to go battle um battle smith or armorer, could she put the armor on boy? No. Dude, I, I believe she has to wear it herself. Okay. Good question. Yeah. I believe we're all here. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Catherick has just been with the ancient dragon this whole time. Just, been just waiting. Out with uh, not talking, just waiting. No, Layden's been kind of running around, so he's probably just hanging out on the beach. Because of, of the places in the eyes of Io for a, an ancient dragon to be, like to, to be in his true form. Um, the beach is pretty much the only place. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, he has to shrink down to his dragon board form. Which, he's a damn, damn good looking uh, black and gold dragon board. He takes after his papa and dad. Especially his dad. Um... Uh, yeah. So, anything else before you guys leave? That's what I can think of. Okay, is that everybody here? Uh, everybody go? Okay, let's uh, go. Uh, and he, he says, uh, step back. And he uh, transforms into his uh, ancient dragon form and kind of like like lies down uh, so that you get you all can climb on top and get a, a good perch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hold on tight and enjoy the ride. And a... and he he gets himself up, and you see, uh, and all of a sudden you see uh, a uh, little. Uh, dragon wormling uh, kind of like float up next to him. Says, bye, Daddy. Bye, Frederica. Bye, Catherine. Bye, Squall. Bye, Zindralov. Bye, Have Lemon. Late fight. And, and, and fight your <laughs> And looks back and goes, Oh, it's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> as Layden just takes off uh, uh, flying through the sky. Uh, it does take several hours, uh, pro uh, several hours. Um, Layden checks back with you every once in a while and be like, are you guys okay back there? You need a, a, a rest? No, we're good. Eh. Uh, Zindralov is uh, clutching tightly 
to Leiden. Um, uh, he he said he, he's like I'm fine. His uh, trunk seems to be flapping in the wind. Yeah, in his in his ears, kind of flap. I'm assuming they they're pretty big. And um, probably just past midnight, uh, Layden starts to slow down, and he uh, uh, lands uh, near a river. And he goes, uh, I saw the, the town just ahead. It should be just past these trees. I don't think anybody spotted me. Mm, are you sure? It's, it would pretty be pretty hard to miss a uh, huge dragon in the sky. It's also it is... dark out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that... yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's midnight. It's just past midnight. <laughs> Thank you. And, and he, he actually briefly turns into his dragonborn form. And he says, the, the town looked pretty small. Uh, and obviously because of the late night, didn't seem like there was any activity. I don't know if you want to approach when everybody is awake or if you're going to sneak into town. But I will let you, you all decide, decide on that. And with that... I will take my leave and return home. I have some work to do. Goodbye, big dragon. And he actually uh, uh, walks off in, in dragonborn form a little bit further. Turns back into the dragon you see. I see him shoot out into the sky. How far away are we from the um, village? Uh, You... You're not exactly sure. Uh, with Layden's sharp eyes, he was able to sp spot it. Um, but he said that it was just through some trees. It looks like he, he kind of landed like right about here. Or, let, me, let me switch to a thing to ping. Like here. And then the town is. Here. Uh, so are we just going do we do we know anything about this town no uh that's not worry uh as soon as Layden goes away um squall's just gonna give a little and uh ragnar is gonna appear on his shoulder um uh, despite the fiery form he doesn't seem to be giving off light he, he gives a little squawk to you uh like, uh, you sense that he's like, do you want me to light up? It's like, he's not saying that, but that's the sense of what hey, he's probably asking. I just tell him no, but I give him a scratch under the chin. Um, I can cast, uh, what's it called? Uh, pass without, oh, I can cast pass without a trace again. Yay. Um, if we decide to go stealthy. Well, I had an idea. Um, let me do a bit of scouting. Uh, so what Squall's going to do is he's going to sit down and actually tell Ragnus to go ahead. So he, he squawks and uh, squawks at you and uh, turns and starts uh, flying through the trees. You gotta see how far out you can go. I think it's. I'll take. I'll keep a watch out. Um, until he's done. Okay, roll me a perception check. What well, once once I'm trying to figure out how far out he can go. Yeah, that I can. for Catholic for Catholics. Keep okay. Watch. Mm, seems pretty pretty quiet. You do see like the 
top of the tower uh and you do see like there's a balcony on the side that you're look uh, that's kind of like pointing further towards the west you're kind of like from the southwest so it's kind of like at an angle sort of thing uh there does seem to be some light coming from it but otherwise okay. doesn't seem like anything's Otherwise, it seems to be a nice evening. You hear the hoots of howls, or hoots of owls. Not hoots of owls. Oh, I gotta look. I can, I can see up to. A mile, but like only a hundred feet. Can I communicate with it? So, also, he has a swimming feet, uh, a swimming speed of forty feet. Unless, question, quick question. Um, so he hasn't already has a, a um flying speed of sixty, but with um investment of the chain master, I can give. I can when I summon my familiar, they gain either a flying speed or swimming speed of forty feet. Would that cut like? compound if I choose the flying or would it just stay at 60? Um, I would say it would stay at the fastest it wouldn't stack. Okay, so then I would give him a swimming speed of 40. Please. Alright. Um, so yeah, I would tell him to try to go out, uh, try to find uh, see how far the village is um, as soon as he finds the village um, to come back. In case we we lose communication. And he goes through and he peeks through some. He, he you see, because I'm assuming you're gone deaf and blind. Yes. And you're seeing through his eyes. Uh, he makes it through some trees and you see a very small village uh, surrounding or, or at the edge of. Uh, looks like the tower's grounds. Um, nothing seems to be happening in the town. Uh, but you do see a place where there's a fence and an entrance into what looks like some sort of hedge maze garden. Um, as I'm saying all this, I communicate it to everyone. Um Am I still able to tap to Ragnar? Uh, is probably gone just out of. He's gone just out of the range. Uh, seeing that he, you spot some, he's kind of like doing a little bit of silent loops around at the furthest range, just to kind of give you vision. And then he seems to be turning back. Thanks. So yeah, I say I explain to everyone like as this is happening, what I am like pretty much what you described to me, and all to give them parents of what's there. Um, I'm sorry, and what was that? that it's was... quiet. Um, everyone like there's nothing going on. It's a very small town. There is a gate and like a hedge mage in front of the tower. But that seems to be it. And it's and roughly like, so it's not like the way you described it went is I wasn't like, I've just like, he just went out of communication. So it's like, we're like a hundred feet away or uh, I just actually, lost. He, he, he lost it, but he saw that it was, he saw the village just as he was hitting your range, your, your communication range. And he went further, so you could still see and hear hear everything. Just He's just communicate with them. Okay. To kind of being like, oh, this is probably what he's looking for. I'm going to get him a little bit better view than circle back. Yeah. Um, Look like okay, so. To go through the maze to get to where we want to be. 
what I can tell, yes. Didn't see any other entrances. Okay. Trying to check if I have any thing to take notes. Uh, inventory. Probably don't. Nope. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> let's go to the maze. <laughs> What were you looking for? I was trying to uh, see if I had any um, like paper or something to write down w which direction we had taken if we go through the maze. Can y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It, it kind of. I'm just like trying. A, I'm trying to right. see what I have. Well, I can. Oh, oh, I know what I can do. Ooh. Uh. Can couldn't you uh? Can you still walk while you're uh looking into your familiar's eyes? I can I can, but someone has to guide me because I am deaf and blind. I can simply hold you out. <laughs> yeah, I, I can I can talk to him within a hundred a uh, hundred feet of me. We can communicate easily. I can see with what uh, what he sees like out uh, for a mile. Uh, let's use your, uh, what is it, by the way? You're familiar? It's a flame pseudo-dragon. Let's use your dragon to, uh, guide our way, and one of us will guide you. Uh, yeah. If possible, I guess. Uh, it's worth a try. Do we want to try to? We want to go to the tower now, or do we want to wait till some uh, first light? We don't need to wait for first light. There probably is less people guarding it at night. What, did I see anyone like any guards or anything? Uh, not that you, not that he could tell. Doesn't mean there isn't any enchantments or anything. Yeah. Uh, we'll take care of that once we get there, I guess. It's up to you guys. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we'll need to give it a try. Uh, are we stealthing? It's middle of the night. Uh, didn't look like there was anyone out and about when I was um, Ragnar was uh, scouting ahead, so I don't see why we should. But an extra buff wouldn't hurt. If you so wish is so. So, yes. I'll cast pass without a trace once we uh uh actually how long does it last? An hour plus, I think. One hour. Yeah, we weren't, yeah, we, um, are, we weren't that far away from the town. Yeah, I'll I'll cast uh pass without a trace once uh we get like a decent way from the edge maze. 
So maybe like once you hit town? Yeah. Once we hit the outskirts of town. Okay. Uh, everybody roll me a stealth check. That's going to be fun. Oh, do I lose a charge? Does the infiltrator key only have one charge? And... Yeah. Okay. Huh. <laughs> so you, when you cast Pass Without a Trace in a day, that's it for the day. For Pass yeah. Without a Trace. You can cast the other spells, but you can only cast them once a day. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what I thought I read. Um, and this is a plus 10? Okay. So I got um, 15, so, so plus 13, so 28. Shotan has 44, and I have 25. Frederica, you have no idea where Boy is. And <laughs> Catherine just seems to have disappeared. 44. Damn! They never, they never existed. <laughs> Catherine too. The the only thing is that Kethrick and Boy know exactly where each other are, and Boy Boy gives a, a thumbs up. I know what that one means. In the same place. Yeah, we're not. They're not in the same place, but they they you kind of spot each other, and you you kind of notice that that they're that pe people are behind. Like you thought they would be following you, but you kind of went ahead of them. And they have no idea where you are to even follow you. But Shit. they seem to be moving uh, uh, relatively stealthily. <laughs> Disappear from existence. Uh, do you want to roll for uh, Cyrus? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure you cannot. Like, I have this advantage and I rolled 215. Well. Two well, thirteen. I mean, you have a code. you have a plus ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was exactly like. We should be good. Yeah, it's twenty one. It's fine. <laughs> <sighs> How dare he has the lowest? By the way, he he starts he starts uh, 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 he's falling by by a flight and kind of goes up a little bit higher, and it's like he's a silver dragon. Uh, despite the fact that it's dark, uh, kind of noticeable. Twenty-one, generally speaking. Hell. But however, his his wing flap seems pretty pretty quiet. You're pretty sure that he's stealthy enough, if anything. How big is Cyrus now? Since he's not a pseudo dragon, a small medium. Okay. Yeah, he's kind of like. He's like uh, Thunder being a medium sized creature. So he's, okay. he's still considered small, but mm. he's a small dwarf. <laughs> in size great. at least. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Definitely not in beard. <laughs> or a tall halfling. Yeah, that works too. That works too. <laughs> or a tall gnome. Um He's a he's a powerful build uh, gnome. I mean, when when he hangs, when he gets onto Zinderlov's shoulder, he's he it looks more like a small child uh, gripping on and playing as a backpack. <laughs> uh, but you are you are. Able to easily approach the tower. Or uh, not approach the tower, approach the maze. Uh, uh, perception check? Sure. Oh, we're, we're at the maze? You're at the yeah. entrance of the maze. There's a fence in front of it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that perception check. I'll do it too, because I can. So twenty six and twenty five for boy and me. 
Uh, looking around, doesn't look like uh, anybody in town was disturbed. Um, and uh, the and you, if you glance up at the tower, you do see some silhouettes go past. Um, any traps? Are you protect traps? That's an investigation check. What are you? What are you? Where are you checking for for traps? Uh, ooh, we got thunder. Um, thunder um, 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 the on the ground and the edges. They like around the 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 entrance. Yeah, you said maze. Uh, you don't find anything. Oh, and then guys, there's investigation. Yeah, but... there's nothing there. Cool. Um, um, I'm, I'm gonna, like at the entrance. The we're at the entrance of the maze. I'm gonna. Sh no, I'm not. Never mind. Can I open the gate? There is no gate. Oh, it's just this wooden fence. When you said gate. I said um, Can we get into the maze easily? Uh it's it's one of those like wooden slat uh fences. They're not like the 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 horizontal crossbars. I mean this is like a vertical a vertical fence. Is and there there, there is no gate. So How how do we get in? Um, Break down the fence. Got it. Oh, go ahead. Okay. I... Hello, kitty. Are we in agreement on the breaking down the fence? No, 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 no. Right, okay. Um, okay. I, I have a way to for sure get myself and one other person possibly over the fence. I can fly, oh. and I can cast levitate on one person. How big is the fence? It's about eight feet high. It seems to be hitting about the height of the hedge. Um, so I could just jump it? I mean, you could certainly try. And if I... anyone would like to... I can levitate them. I'm going to go ahead and use elemental uh, gift. Uh, uh, elemental gift, and um, give myself a flying speed and fly up. If no one else, will, like, I'll, I'll wait to see if someone wants me to use levitate on them. If not, I'm going to go ahead and fly up. So, boy can just fly over. So can, so can um, Cyrus, um, Keith, or if you want me to just levitate you up? What about Zinderlov? Oh, Zinderlov. How much does Zinderlov weigh? I have a limit. I have a limit on, on how much. He's probably you, heavy as fuck. If you can get Zinderlov up, I might be able to 296 get pounds. Okay, I can do Zendral. I have a I have a limit on uh how much. Oh, but... no. hold on, that's his age. Uh, he's 350 <laughs> pounds. I can still handle that. Do I succeed the, my my pole jump using my uh, my glaive as a pole? You know what I mean? Like, 
Uh, yeah, sure. So yeah, I'll use levitate on. Um. Zindelov. So he um. Zindelov moves up about ten feet. Twenty feet. Oh, you can go I mean, he doesn't feet. have to go that high. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'll use Elemental you, you Gift. Up and um, for him, it, it looks a little weird because his legs just become this, like, gaseous form. Ah! And I possibly climb the gate. Uh, give me a flag check. Okay. That's what I meant to do. So you make it, but you kind of clatter against the fence, and it it makes a kind of a loud clack 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 noise. Fuck. In the end, oh. it now you're all like those flying. You're just kind of like going up and over, and that's about it, right? You're not like trying to like fly really high up or something like that. Like you're just trying to get just above the fence in order to get over it. Well, I am. I'm, I'm not flying, so yeah. But I mean, for those who are, <laughs> Cyrus and Shatan pretty much do that. Just kind of like up and over. Up hmm? So now it's just Squall, you just went up and over, right? Yeah. I just cast uh, Elemental Gift and gave myself a flying speed. Okay. And then just kind of pushed the needle lava over and then plugged it down. Kinda, yeah, I kind of like held onto his hand like as we went up and like over. And you all land safely in the ground. Yay! Oh, yeah. Should I do that? And you see, oh, you, you see uh, this uh, nice eight foot tall hedge hedge uh, hallway, for lack of a better word, heading to you, and it's careening off towards the left. Um, so, question, with prestidigitation, it says I can make a non-magical trinket. Can that trinket be like a ball of yarn? Sure. Okay. I'm going to use prestidigitation to, um... Uh, also, read the text. It lasts for an hour. You create a non-magical trinket or an illusionary image that can fit in your hand, and that lasts until the end of your next turn. Right. So yeah. It so, lasts until the end of your next turn. The duration is an hour. I don't know. the The wording is really weird, <laughs> but based off of how how I read it, for that part of prestidigitation. It lasts until the end of your next turn. Oh, damn. Like, for example, if you use the, like, press and digitation to create sparks, you can have that one particular aspect uh, for an hour. Okay. But, in the case of the magical trinket, it only lasts for for, um, uh, for six seconds. <laughs> Never mind. Wait. Hood. Hmm. 
I'll take my hand axe and just mm. chop at the hedges. Um, like just uh, uh, go straight and just chop at it. Um, actually, I'm gonna send Ragnus up into the air and see through his eyes. Oh crap! Right. We did have an idea. A plan. <laughs> we did. We did have a whole thing of plan on what we were doing. Ragnus flies up, and the tower, the tower, which actually, when you get into the maze, the tower appears to be towards the left side, which. When you were outside the fence, it looked like it was straightforward. But now that you're inside, it's now more to the left. I've seen this movie before. Ragnus, <laughs> Ragnus uh, floats up. You look through through his eyes, and the tower disappears. Oof. I'm uh, conveying all this as I see it. He uh, looks down at the... Uh, uh, the the maze and he sees uh, just what looks t- and looks around and it's just this endless hedge line path stretching to the horizon in every direction. I've definitely seen this movie before. Uh God. Uh, you're 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 telling us this, right? Yes. Every, everything that when saying it, I'm a uh, squall saying it as well. Fuck. <laughs> um what 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 we do do it do I do I I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring him back. I, I don't this is this still feels a little weird. I'm just gonna call him back. Uh he uh, so you just poof him back? Yeah. Okay. So he poofs out of existence and appears back on your shoulder. He goes he he, he gives you a sense of like Disorientation. Yeah, that 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 was my thought too. Oh, so th- oh. this this wasn't a good idea. Like this, it was good on paper, but it, it didn't make it through first contact. Can I shoot? A arrow into. Oh, oh, hold on. First off, um, I mean, you have a path in front of you. Yeah, it turns the, off to the left. Is the fence still there? You look behind you and you see the fence. Okay, so maybe we can leave whenever we want. <laughs> maybe. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look straight where the. Uh, thing the path is and uh I wanna use my arrow a uh, bow and arrow and shoot an arrow uh like a above the hedges and use the oracle shot thing. Huh? Um do I need to do a hit? No. To see you... how far it goes. No, so you kind of like aim upwards and you shoot an arrow, arrow, and you let your self go deaf and blind. Sounds familiar. Uh, and it, it goes up, and you can see the shower, uh, the tower, like, but then it gets just above the hedge, and the tower disappears. And you just, as it kind of like falls down, you see this endless hedge maze, and it lands in one of the hedges. Cool. And all you see is just an entire land of hedges. Well, let's are you con- are you conveying this? Yes. All right. So my thoughts: once you be- once you come back to your body, um, I will say that just be like, okay, well. We can't use the air to guide us through, so I guess we just have to go through the path. 
Um, 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 I'm gonna like use my hand axe and uh, not the hedge thing again, but uh, mark on the ground which way we decide to go from. Oh, you only have two are. directions right now. Okay. Forward and uh, back. Can we just decide by now? Let's oh. go. Or I'm just gonna yeah. start moving. At this, at this point, you essentially have one direction to go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Uh, so about thirty seconds later, uh, you arrive arrive um, at what looks like to be a crossroads with some sort of sundial in the center. Uh, the light seems to be actually like a very cl clear and bright night, and uh, there looks to be a a shadow coming off of the coming off the sundial, and it's oops. That was the end of that? Yeah. Oh. So there's a sundial that has a shadow on it? Yeah, it's night, but it seems to be casting a shadow as if it was receiving sun from a, from sunlight. And what time is it showing? Uh, 12 o'clock. And it's midnight at this moment? No, it's after midnight. Real time. Okay. Well, go. Let's go. Oh, by the way, 12 o'clock is here. Okay. Are we supposed to be able to see something on the map? Should be able to. Oh, wait a minute. Did I forget to give you vision? I forgot to give you vision. No, I can see something. I no, can. no, Catherick doesn't. Oh, I wasn't seeing anything. Can you, can you see now? Is blind. Yes, I can. Mine's loading now. I'm also having internet issues. So, where's the out? Do you have a thunderstorm in your area? No, it's just the area. It's just the area of my house. We don't have, like, in our room, we don't get great signal that this laptop isn't picking stuff up. Um, hey, when I can't control my token. That's if odd. that's important. Yeah, it should be important because you should be able to control your character. It says you should be able to. I'm stupid. Hold on. Oh, you you were still on the line instead of the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Uh. Uh. Um. Boy and Frederica are going straight. So. Mm -hmm. Go straight, unless y'all want to split up. So. Wait. Wait. I have. I can't see anything yet. Oh, oh. you can't see anything. It, it's it's my computer. It's oh, okay. that's the issue. It's taking forever to load up the map. Stop being blind, Janet. Um, that won't work. I investigate this thing. Uh, the sundial? the sundial? Yeah, like, is there anything? Yeah, hey, sure. Go ahead and Words roll me investigation check. Investigation. Oh, actually, there's a description of this area, too. I should probably read that, shouldn't I? You, 
You've entered an intersection where eight paths converge symmetrically. You can see Zunthal's tower dead ahead above the hedge wall, but the way the path has curved, there's no telling which one might lead to it. The sundial stands in the center of the intersection, a shadow from its, uh, uh, Namon, uh, which is basically the, the arrow thing that pops up from it, uh, is pointed straight towards the tower which is highly odd because the sun isn't behind you. Um, and it's pointing towards 12? Yeah. Uh, as you enter this, I, I suppose the description, I read it, read it wrong because of the actual way. You enter this area and the tower is now behind you. I did this wrong. I should have actually rolled to see which way you came in, but <laughs> I see. And so the tower is pointing. The oh, arrow is pointing like this way. Yeah. The shadow uh, that from the sundial is pointing towards the tower, which is currently behind you, because you came in from the top. I well, say whatever way. The sundial is pointing. We should go. Well, we just came from that way, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna walk behind us. Oh, go. So it shouldn't be too too bad. Uh, Cyrus is like, like, oh, this is cool. So we walked in the tower. Before we walked in, the tower was straight ahead, ahead from us from the entrance. Then when we got into the mage, it was like to the left. Then we start walking through. And when we get here, it's behind us, which means this place is completely magical. Yeah. So there um, must be hints on, on how to get through it. But just, based off of where we go, something could happen. Which I think this sundial tells us the way that we need to go. It sounds counter counterintuitive to go the way we just came, but I, mean, I think the sundial is key. In the direction of the tower that it is right now. Yeah, so I think the sundial points the way that we need to go. Or it points to the place we came from. Well, one way or another, we go. We go. If we, I suggest we go to the way the, the sundial is pointing. If it takes us back to the way we were, where we were, then we just turn back around, and then we're here. Or it could take us further forward. Let's just go. All right, so you exit out the wood, the way the the sundial was pointing. I need uh, someone to roll me two d six. That's one. That's two. All right, so thirty six seconds later, uh, I need somebody to roll me a d eight. I got it. You suddenly appear here. Okay. And the sundial is pointing? Yes, sir. Uh, and the sundial is currently pointing this way and this way. Maybe go this way.
I think any way is gonna do it. To the right, to the right. You're going out, uh... Yes. That way? You said it was this way and this way, right? Right. Yeah, we're gonna go. You're gonna... Everybody's going this way, and you're going this way. You said the sundial was pointing this way. And this way. Yeah. yeah. So it's pointing in two directions. So let's go in between. Exactly, like he said. Right. So you go that way. And you need somebody to roll me 2d6. Do it, Keytrick. Oh, okay. Um, 2d6? 2d6. Yep. I need somebody to roll me a D8. I'm going to do it. Two. Bump. There we are. Uh, so you come and you uh, about uh, thirty seconds later, uh, you after a curve and a twist, uh, you arrive uh, here from this direction. Uh, the sundial, <laughs> though, is pointing this way, this way, and this way. Oh dear Jesus. So I'm going to try to like investigate anything about the sundial. Sure. Since I haven't done it. It looks like a sundial. It has three shadows. Kind of weird. And there's nothing written on it? No, nah, it's standard sundial etchings. And we see the tower. At all. Yeah, it uh, seems to be over here somewhere. And the shadows point this way, this way, and this way. Right. So, north, southwest, and southeast. Well... Let's go. Let's go south. So you head south. All right. Uh, I need somebody to roll me two d six. Got it. Eight. All right. And a D8. D3. Two. All right. Guys, yeah, come in through here. <laughs> What's the shadows looking like? Uh, looks like some sort of X shape. We're lost. <laughs> Uh, we officially screwed the page. Uh, you do it, notice, uh, the, you know, while you're like looking at the the uh, uh, shadows on the the sundial, um, that they it starts spinning. It goes faster and faster, and the, it seems to be the shadows seem to be shrinking. Until it just it. disappears. Guys, we broke it. It's a triumph. Where's the tower? 
Uh, the tower uh, is over here. Are you back back? The arrows aren't pointing anywhere. Shadows aren't pointing anywhere. Let's yeah, there's no shadows to... anymore. Let's go towards I say the tower. That's what I was just about to say. Let's go towards the tower. What? And where is located the tower? This, this way. Right over this way. Sure. Come on, Zindalov. And Iris. Let's just say that they follow. You don't have to move them every time. No, I kind of do. Actually, uh, I got everybody. Okay. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh. So, filling the center of the eighty foot of this eighty foot uh, square courtyard is a circular pool of water, six sixty feet across. The water is dark and murky, uh, reducing visibility to about one foot. A garnet gemstone hovers one foot above the center of the pool. Another path leaves the area from oh. the hedge wall on the far side of the pool, directly opposite where you entered. I'll start following. So it's a pool of water? Yep. Frederica. You can't see, <laughs> see far through it because it's kind of murky. But the the water the the garnet's hovering above the water. Yep. Well, that's something pretty. So. Um, elemental gift. That's it. And I'm gonna blow it up. Do it. And grab it. That may not be a good idea. It's pretty. Squall doesn't always have great ideas, alright? Oh, excellent. Kraken just cut. Oh, fuck. Guess what, folks? Oh, for Roll for initiative! Yeah. Way! Uh, I need a. You're welcome. <laughs> Clear. Get a fight. Seven. Hey, um, I don't know how this works. Um, it says advantage. Um, do you roll by roll twenty or D and D Beyond? D and D Beyond. I mean, uh, probably have some some feature that's uh, giving you advantage or um oh, something I, no i i do had i do had advantage on initiative it's just that it rolls once but it says advantage on the side. No, yeah, it, it so rolled twice if you, it if did you roll twice over, but it, sh it here it if you scroll I, over it shows that it rolled twice and it's just showing you the better of the two. Yeah, yeah so it's using the the uh two because if you mouse over it the formula it's using is 2d20 kh1 which means keep highest one plus four which is your initial. yeah i can roll over on it and it says 13 and a 15 so yeah. i see yeah, it now it's fine i just didn't know mm -hmm. you got everything oh my god what yeah. What's going on? Crabby. Crabby. Uh, are like these crab. trolls? It looks like crab people. Yeah, I think I think they're trolls or something. They're they're and lobsters, uh... not crabs. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Oh, my. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> they wait, wait, what? There and there. Okay. There uh, oh. I 
think. I'm not sure, but I think Boy is going to go uh, first. No, we're not done yet. Uh, what I was trying to do was uh, do the whole uh, like. Oh, oh, there we go. Controls, control Z, uh, shift Z. No, shift Z. Yeah. That thing would be nice. Okay. They look like rust monster monsters, but just bigger. Uh, and... That that that's a face. That's a face. <laughs> Those are so gurgs. The Sulu worshipping lobsters. Those are Doctor Zoidsberg's assistants. I think it's ancestors. Yes. I mean that works too. So people could see the battle much better. Yeah. Uh which also means uh, I can use There we are. Playing for battle music. Yay, battle music. All right. Well, so well, these well. uh crabish looking beans uh popping out of the water. And boy, do boy what, do, what, what does boy do? Boy is going to go there. Walk on the water with his ring of water walking. Oh wow! Well, there you go. He cheats. Let's I can't. I can only see me. Uh oh. And the creatures. I can't see anyone else's tokens. I don't see why you're not seeing. Because your sight should be fine. Didn't we all get one of those rings? The old crew did. Uh, yeah, oh. Squall doesn't have one. Catherick is still... Yeah, he's, he's supposed to have one. Oh, okay. Are, is that Squall, I think, is the only one who doesn't have one. Yeah. Squall has other other means. No. Is the ring a... Bitch, a I can fly. Tournament? No, no, it's not a tournament. Luckily. Um, so yeah, he's gonna go there, and he's going to, uh, attack? I'm, do I'm doing some changes here, so. there you go. Does he hit yeah. with a 21? Yeah, that will hit. Well, no sneak attack damage. So... Yeah, no sneak attack damage. But the acid damage rate? Yeah, the acid damage is still going there. And, uh... He's going to bonus action attack and do the same attack. Just with the poison one. Is he attacking? Because I guess I can't see anyone. I can't see anyone. Maybe it's because the things aren't loading. It's uh, eight piercing, one poison. I got a moment for it. It's my turn, so I'm going to reload. Hold on. Alright. There you go. It's probably because I got dynamic lighting in your internet connection. Oh. So. Stop being plug on a potato. Here, let, me, let me change that. Uh, let me see. Oh, it's actually. I'm going to fix this. Just, just bear with me. No, you're, you're fine. We believe in you. It's gonna be black. Um, I'm right back. So take your time. Well, don't take your no. Still take your time. Figure this out. But I will be back. Okay, Arnold. Okay. okay. What? I'll, I'll be, be back. back. Here we go. Sorry, it was way too easy to do. Huh? Um, it was. It was good. 
All right. Frederica, your turn. Everybody should see now. Yeah. I'm reloading in so that I try that. I, I turned off the dynamic lighting, so. Uh, I don't have advantage, though. I don't know why it's this on advantage. So, you're, you're um, flanking, does it? You? Oh, yeah, I am. You're right. I positioned myself to flank. So, not use. Anyway, so I, I'm going to guess those hit. Does it 20 hit? Yep. Okay. So, the damage is 21, 27, 27. And is he still up? Minus one, or 21, 27, 27? Yeah. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> and anything else? Yep. I'm going to finish my movement there. Sorry, I cannot go to him because I don't have enough movement and just going to whack his ass. That'll definitely hit. So, um, 33. And I need to remember not to do that because I didn't do the correct stuff. The whole the whole round I didn't use uh, Polar Master because, uh, not Polar Master, um, Great Weapon Master because I forgot how, whatever. Okay. Doesn't matter. Well, maybe this is one of the things where you weren't sure how strong their armor was or anything. So you were basically testing the waters by doing a flurry of attacks. Yeah, I was just... And now in the future, you can remember that, hey, you know what? Honest. These are a little bit easier to hit. I'm, I might as well see if I can hit harder. Yeah. You're, for, for those who are looking, you're going to see a um, uh, boy extending a hand towards the, uh, the cadaver of the... Uh, uh, okay, uh, towards the, the cadaver of the creature, and a token which uh, Crave is uh, not Crave, uh, Wind is gonna tell me what it is. A token of this creature is going to appear in his hand. The level ninth of the Phantom token of yeah. the departed. Uh, yeah, it what would it have? Uh, it actually just looks like a bead of light. Just a bead of light. Yeah. That works. Something about it is it like it doesn't really have actual objects or anything. It's kind of like a memory or something might be. Okay. Well, and that's it for me. Cyrus. What does Cyrus do? Damage. Yeah. No, that's not Cyrus. That's in the love. Oh, my daughter. Too bad. Them. So Cyrus kind of moves over, opens his mouth, and a lightning bolt shoots out of it. Cross the re arena and uh, hits two of them. Yeah. Yeah, Turk. Excuse me. Um. I shall use steady aim. Do you know what that is? You're gonna do what? Steady aim. Yeah, you don't move. Well, I don't know if wind knows. I can't think of it at the top of my head, but it gives you a bonus for not moving, right? 
Yeah, it's advantage. Yep. And I will attack this guy. Um, God damn it. Well, 29 hits, but... Yeah. 29, 12... Technically both hits. <laughs> Ooh, sneak attack. Oh, it already does it. Yeah, uh, you don't get sneak attack, though. He has advantage. Have oh, advantage. he does advantage, so... That's... Oh. Uh, 28, 30, 40 points of damage. Oh god, those six and that the first sneak attacks are... Mm. Mm. Uh, that's oh, my turn. Alright. Um, how how come you you shoot two arrows? I do not shoot two arrows. You do not have extra attack. No. Okay. That's weird. Yeah. Well, rogues don't have extra attack. Sadly, it would be really good. Yeah. But I, I think the bonus action attack uh, can only happen with an uh, offhanded weapon. Since yeah. it's just a bow, can't use it. So. Alright. This creeps out here towards Cyrus. And oh, that was whispered. Alright, that will definitely hit hit Cyrus. And that was eight. Another one. Or another. Thirteen, he is also grappled. <laughs> He's not poisoned. All right, that's that one. This one's going to come over to Squall. Take a couple pincers, pincer attacks. Uh, does a 14 hit you, Squall? Nope. Right. Also going to... I wear a whisper because it's easy enough, right? And 12 doesn't hit you. Nope. So it comes up to your windy four... Uh, your windy bottom form that sounds weird uh, it starts like snapping at you but this is you entirely uh, Frederica uh, the one that you've been attack attacking uh, makes a couple attacks on you a 23 hit yeah 23 hits All right, take 12 bludgeoning and the second one misses misses uh, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Is it against being poisoned? Yes. Because I'm immune. Oh, there you go. Alright. Squall. Wait, I wasn't far. I, I said there were shoals, right? Hmm? Uh, one second. Earlier, when I said what their name was, I remember them. They are in uh, uh, what's yeah, the name? Tomb of Annihilation, I think. Hmm, possibly. All right, so that one's right there. Stop eating me! 
I am not fooled. All right. Am I the only one with a cannibal boyfriend who always tried to eat me? Oh. Uh, isn't that like every boyfriend? No, I don't try to eat him. No, uh, Kelly likes to know me. I like to know him. People. He's numbing my arm. Uh, so I'm gonna thunderstep. All right, wait a second. Let me double check that. Is it ten feet? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. So Pretty thunderstep. Cool. Was it? Uh, oh. Yeah. They fail. That uh, fails. 16. That was a shitty roll. 5 D10s. Uh, yeah, it's a D10. Anything else? Yeah, that's another spell, so I can't use that. It's not a camp break. Oh, you turned to a step. Yep. Mm. Hey, yeah, yeah, that's... You said that's, that's it? Who, yeah. 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 Alright, Zinderlav are uh, ever in last... Uh, Triage. Uh, let's see. What do I do? Yeah, sure. Oh. 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 Uh, he tips the guiding bolt the one. One by Cyrus and misses. Shit. Damn it, Cyrus. Don't you... Um, damn it. Damn it, Zindelov. Don't you know Guiding Bolt doesn't work? You're gonna come over here. Boy. Yeah. Uh, boy is going to go right here. And he's going to hand the miserable, the, the miserable life of this poor, poor creature. Sure. He has advantage. Ooh, nice crit. Ooh. So... I really like that the first one is a crit. Do you know why? Because half of the the die rolled for the um, the sneak attack, he's gonna do it on this one too. So just seventy six. Right. Um. The uh the first uh, ability of the Phantom, Wells of the Grave. Yeah. When I know you your, exactly a thirty. Uh, mm, so yeah. the other one is gonna take twenty one damage of uh, psychic damage if. It changes something. Okay. Uh, not psychic, my bad. Necrotic. Necrotic. Cool. And then um, he did my scientist game. Right? That's it. Just another five. He has. Yeah. He's gonna go there. Okay. And yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's it. 
Alright. Lister. Lister is the one that is going to attack the one that is uh, currently, um, currently holding it. With? Holding her? Uh, I don't think they're holding her. Did they hit? Yeah, the, the one oh, one hit. Did, they did. Yeah. yeah, he's he's trying to grapple me, and she's like having none of it. I guess this is gonna hit. Yep. Oh. Just a bit of acid. Yeah, poor little acid. Does it thirteen? Uh, does it twelve hit? Uh, 12 does not hit. So she's going to use her reaction and add 5 to it. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Is he still up? Uh, give me a sec. Yep. Uh, he's looking pretty hurt, though. Does a 14 hit? Uh, yeah, you... Swipe one way, swipe the other, but you, your glaive kind of misses, but you see this electrical, uh, you, you see this kind of illusion of, uh, um, of like an electrical version of your hammer or, or your glaive yep. kind of go down a little bit and actually cause the, the actual hit. And, uh, but, uh, just because of the grapple, you try hitting, hitting again with the back. Back end and it misses. So, so I'm gonna do the last hit. I think he's not gonna like this crit. Yeah. And you are no longer grab room because as the uh, chul yeah. comes down into the water. And hey, uh, by the way, these two sink into the water and completely disappear from sight. And that, that's it. Yeah. So my turn. <laughs> Tyra says, oh, okay. Uh, turn this to the last one. All right. I have an idea of what Cyrus would actually do, but I don't really want to bother with it. Um, so I'm just going to do something that I would do as Cyrus. So, uh, yeah. He's going to open his mouth and a bolt of fire uh, shoots out at uh, this one. Mm -hmm. And hits. We're easily ten damage, but hey, damage damage is damage, so it's, it's always a good thing. Catherick. Any aim? And you have people engaged anyways. Yep. But this uh I mean, with fine. sneak attack you can still apply your sneak attack but yeah no. um, yeah there's a lot of circumstances that is allowing you to to add your sneak attack if anything 23 yeah it'll hit and with the uh lightnings uh with everything it's it does and it sneaks into sinks into the water there we are so you can see a second soul being snatched a little ball of light he snatches it up and it just kind of disappears on the sand
Well, that was interesting. Oh. Hey, do you still got that gemstone? That's your time. Yep. Nerd boy. Yep. Oh, okay. Cool. I wonder if there's anything Wait, else. Do I, do I have, still have it? Yeah. It's still there. Okay. I mean, if you didn't let go with it when you touch, after you touched it. No, I, I, I was always holding on to it. Yeah. I figured. Well, we can, we can check if you want. Do you want to go underwater and check if there's other, others like those? Yeah, hold on. He pops into his dragon form. So I got a garnet. So you've got a garnet gemstone. After a couple minutes, uh, boy hasn't come back up. I'm going to call him, ask if, what, mentally, uh, did you find anything? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff down here. I'm trying to gather it together. Uh, Do you want me to come? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm just going to dive. Okay. So... He's he's trying to to position in his claws what looks like uh, uh, several vials of something. He, it, the water's murky, so you get close enough and you, you kind of like get through his water. You can only see about a foot ahead of you. Mm -hmm. And he, he hands you a few things. There are uh, six vials. He grabs a what, couple more vials, a, a, a some sort of stick, um, uh, looks like a dagger, um, some sort of ball thing with one of his feet. Uh, the with one of his other feet, it looks like he grabs a gem, and then he starts moving up. When when I'm ready to go back up, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to activate the ring of water walking. And I'm just going to shoot towards the surface. You beat him to the surface. Yeah, definitely. And he, he, he breaks out and just kind of like uh, hovers and uh, just kind of flies over here and then uh, lays everything down and poofs back into boy form. There was a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, six of the po uh, six of the vials. Um, uh, look very familiar. They look like potions of healing. Hmm. Just regular potions of healing. Why would anyone throw potions of healing down a well? Uh, um, oh, judging by the corpse that was back there, I guess that it, that's why. Uh, you actually see that there are three daggers that he had, had got. Wow, this would be good for throwing arsenal. What kind of belt. Uh, do you want me to put any other kind of dagger on his equipment, or just regular daggers? Uh, three plus one daggers. Nice. You have one Ooh. which is be spouting from. The last uh, thingy, the last monster that I killed. Oh, yeah, there's there's a tree in the water. <laughs> yeah, Chaton, uh, that was one of the things Chaton was doing. He was trying to clear, trying to quickly move it away to 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 make sure that he, he, he was like, oh shit, the tree. <laughs> he was actually just just shuffling all the 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 items over into a corner <laughs> because it, it would have taken longer for him to, to like pick everything up and extract it as yeah. the tree grew into place. And then he was at the bottom and things. So there's just tree now sticking out of the pond. 
Uh, Squall will turn to Shatan and just be like, is there more stuff down there? This was all I could find. I think I got everything, though. Hey, and if I miss something, it might be under the roots of the new tree. Uh, maybe I should find... Ooh, I... Never mind. I still have my regular bow, don't I? Probably. I do. I'm not going to use it. Maybe for, like, hunting animals so that we're not, we're not eating wood. Oh, out right. in the wilderness. Yeah, I mean, it takes time for it to, to, to grow. So if you, like, shoot an animal, it will grow from where the arrow landed, like, it, on the ground, near the ground. But you could easily, like, go up and tear me off. And it's kind of gruesome, but. That's like, but you have a little bit of time to life. take care of things, but. Um, now we keep going. And the the um, one of the potions that you have, it looks like the red in the potions liquid continuously expands from a tiny bead to color the clear liquid around it and then contracts. That uh, shakes the bo bottle and the 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 kind of pulsing uh, stops for a moment. And then resumes. What is that in your hand, boy? Uh, I don't know, but I, I'm pretty sure these aren't like healing potions. Let me let, let me take a look at it. Um, can I use my proficiency in the uh, alchemist supply to try to identify it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, intelligence. Ah, uh, intelligence. Yeah, intelligence based. So anything that you're proficient in intelligence, you can roll. So investigation. That'll work. Yeah, this is a potion of growth. Oh. Oh, magnificent. Not that you need it because you got tiny stone knuckles. <laughs> and I know, but with that, in boys and Shutan's form. He could grow large. Dragon. You could grow large. Wow. Temporarily, obviously. But... Cyrus. I could be a young dragon already. Yeah. We could we could ride onto the battle together. I don't know. I don't know if I could carry you, Mama. Are you telling me I'm fat? Calling you fat. Yeah. He he gives you he gives you this like cheeky grin. Oh, you're gonna exactly get what he's doing. He's giving in. Uh, the other potions uh, has an orange liquid which flickers and smoke seems to fill the top of the the container. Mm, I'm not sure what this one is. I think. Not sure. Mm. Uh, and let me. Well, that I've one. Shown, so you get a sixteen. <laughs> I've shown you how to uh, how to use vials. You can identify them yourself. He has herbalism and poisoner kits. That's if that changes anything, huh? It, 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 you say, um, I can just spend time. Uh, Cyrus comes up and says, "I can spend like ten minutes trying to figure out what this is." Yeah, no problem with that. Needless to say, I don't want to spell one, two, uh, <laughs> steady spells. Mm -hmm. As a ritual, going to identify. Um, and he identifies the potion as um, a being a uh, potion of fire breath. I mean, it must be like right, right at the moment he, he's about to say, he's like, oh, is it one though one of those like fire breaths? Ooh. You know what? This means that I could be like laden. Yes. You can be large and breathe fire. Rawr. Do me your best impersonation of laden. 
Absolutely. I'm just a smart uh, 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 pilot in the Bahamas, and then and I'm just a good person. He does a really bad. Uh, he, it's a good. He, he does one that's that's very much him, but it's not in a flattering sort of way. Yeah, it's it's caricatures. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the younger brother doing a caricature of his older brother. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, you think you're so cool just because you're older than me. Just yeah. because you're an ancient dragon now. <laughs> Makes you so special. That sort of thing. He's doing the uh, the SpongeBob meme. Uh, yeah, so all you got is... Uh... Um, by the way, around what time are we stopping for today? Oh, shit. I didn't even realize what time it is. We could stop yeah. right now. Uh, because usually we were going till like, well, no, 11.30. So it would be uh, like three more minutes. But let me tell you your your, your stuff. So if yeah. you take some time, <laughs> yeah. let, let me just paste in all the loot. <laughs> so you so in total, you got six potions of healing, a uh, potion of, of, of growth, a potion of fire breath, a wand of fear, three plus one daggers, and a drift globe, and an elemental gem of clear sapphire. A clear sapphire elemental gem. Nice. Uh, Cyrus, for some reason, uh, ends up speed identifying everything. Yeah, because. Just because. Plot. Because plot. Yeah. Yes. In any in <laughs> any way, in any way, I think he has enough enough spell slot to identify some. So. Yeah, but you never know. He might. Well, and it, well, actually, <laughs> he does not have it prepared, so he has to castle as a ritual. Oh, never mind then. But for some reason, these rituals they take longer than a no normal. Spell like insta spell cast of this <laughs> because it's in instantaneous but instead it takes him like a minute to do for some reason he's just really doing him fast it's okay no problem there right yeah but plot <laughs> exactly he but he got plot haste <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, i'm just assuming you wouldn't want to want to spend uh uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, like an hour. <laughs> but that's good. Um, we, we can take a short rest during that time. I mean, yeah, if you guys want to take a short rest, then hey, it kind of get matter. my spell slot back. I will tell you this: I will definitely say that you can easily identify during a short rest, but and still gain the benefits of short rest. So. Yeah, no other DMs may disagree with me on that, but I, I think it's because you're not really doing much, especially if you're ri ritually casting. It's pearl and and maybe an incantation. I, I don't think it's yeah, it's just, um, verbal semantic, and it's like pearl <laughs> and an owl fe a feather. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Just yeah, for the for the for the the one spellcaster who gets his spell slots back on a short rest. Can we take a short rest? Yeah, sure. Why don't we take? <laughs> or let me go into my bottle for ten minutes. You're like, ah, uh, you're doing the identify thing. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> you, you leave. You pop you into my bottle for ten minutes. So, um, boy is a happy to have a um, a drift globe. But we'll take the drift globe. Well, drift dr globe. It does light or daylight once per day, and it oh. floats by itself. It is oh. not a movement. Uh, See, El Bittel Uh, uh the element of gem. Uh, we can we can break the gem and conjure uh, hair elemental. Uh, Cyrus will take the wand. Sure. I I'm sure uh, Cyrus will want the wand. Well, it's I'll a take the gem. 
ones are attunement though. I don't know if he uh if he has enough. And he'll take the wand. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I will tell you this: He already has a bunch of of tutable items, so he's probably in one of those those things where he swaps out a two mins. Okay, depending on what he wants. I I take the uh, elemental gem. So, uh, elemental gem, blue sapphire. Heatrick, do you want a dagger? Uh, Plus one dagger. I'll take a dagger, sure. Oh, I was hoping they have more to throw in. I don't know. Uh, well, Cord is making me this. Have the... You I'm already really have... Care to have one. You I already have, have three. <laughs> he has a plethora of daggers you can throw. Those are not even returning. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean... I would an arsenal of daggers, but I don't need them. <laughs> so if you if you don't have as many daggers as me, I mean, we are rogue bros, right? So we should share in our roguish ways. Sure. Rogue bros. Rogue bros. God damn it. All right, so it is the end for me. Since uh, tomorrow I'm getting tattooed, I need to uh, have a great night's sleep. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. What what does being tattooed and sleep have to do with each other? Uh or getting, tattooed, getting tattooed uh is kind it's of strain, it, Yeah, it's it's strenuous on your body. It, it, when, yeah, just just think even though it, you think it's just oh you just lay there or sit there or whatever, depending on what body part you're getting tattooed. I and I barely have anything tattooed. <laughs> Compared to some people, I barely even have a tattoo. My might as well be a tattoo. Yeah. Wouldn't so, going falling asleep be ideal to get in? No. No, because no, you're gonna be moving uh, while you sleep. And beside when you have a good night's sleep, your your pain tolerance is greater because your your body is not in a nerve shock of lack of sleep. Same thing for uh, being hungry and other stimuli. Yeah. You want to be able to rest, not have to worry about like anything. Yeah. Okay. So, if you get tattooed at one point, try to sleep before, like, having a nice sleeping nice. time. Yeah, a nice night. And uh, sleep. don't forget to eat. I still have to get a tattoo and dedication of my best friend he got a tattoo of of me not of me but a for tattoo. you yeah and i still have not gotten one why I haven't gotten to it even though Do it's it. years now do it depending on the type of tap tattoo they're they're not too bad i mean i just uh, have like outlines of shapes <laughs> I can actually I, I have an idea page. of what I want, but I just haven't gotten it. Alright, that's it for uh, uh everybody who's watching the stream or watching the VOD uh later on or Bears of Dragons. Thank you for watching. Uh we'll be back next week where we'll continue yeah. into the uh wizard try to get to the wizard's tower if they figure out how to get there. Yeah. Who knows? Deuces.